Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At ColdwellBanker.com, you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go Catamounts! Hey, Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No, son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know. We can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Have you been told it's gonna take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And when we're united, we can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. We're proud to be the only President's Award winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by Dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America and Ford of Dalton is built for you. 
The 22 football season is here and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck teams and go dogs! Woo! Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for home. Experience the power of the Lynx. OptiLink streaming app VidLink, powered by its fastest internet service, GigLink. Your link to reliable remote access to healthcare. Your link to the best educational opportunities. Your link to our community's only local provider. Your link to the ultimate in entertainment choices and gaming experiences. No interruptions and faster downloads power up your life with the perfect combination of speed and entertainment. VidLink and GigLink. Upgrade today and get the power of the Lynx. Hey folks, Jason Denson, Ford of Dalton, North Georgia's fastest growing dealership and home of the Power Buy. Our new Ford vehicles come with Ford of Dalton's exclusive 10-year, 150,000 mile powertrain warranty at no cost to you. FordofDalton.com. Hope to see you soon. 54 years. How do we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Taylor Industrial Sales after hours service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. How much is your home worth? Find out at ColdwellBanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! I'm not lost exactly, but hey, are you planting that tree? Wait, where are the flags? The paint? Didn't you contact 811? I've dug here before, it's fine. Contacting 811 to have all underground utilities marked is the law, and it protects us all. Here, let me borrow your cell phone. Dogs don't use cell phones. Humans shouldn't dig before contacting 811. I mean, woof. Online or on the phone, contact 811 at least two business days before any digging project. Brought to you by Georgia 811. Can we keep them? Hey football fans, I'm Chris and this is my dad Charles. Here at Transformers, we believe in no gimmicks, just affordable pricing and quality repairs. Come see us at Dalton, Cartersville, or check us out online at TransformersTransmission.com.
Yes, babe. D-line, sophomore. Preston Cox, D-line, sophomore. Striker Woods, O-line, D-line, senior. Riley Souther, center, senior. Francisco Ortiz, O-line, D-line, junior. Eric Fur, O-line, junior. Michael Wynn, guard, senior. Payne Starlin, junior, O-line, D-line. Yair Sosa, linebacker, senior. Denzel Vasquez, outside linebacker, junior. David Rivas, running back, linebacker, senior. Adrian Gongora, athlete, junior. Andy Gutierrez, linebacker, junior. Ethan Long, quarterback, junior. RJ Story, receiver DB, senior. Caleb Staten, junior, linebacker. Cameron Staten, junior, athlete. Bennett Phelan, tight end, senior. Andy Atangana, athlete, senior. Kendrick London, wide receiver, safety, junior. Nash Smith, wide receiver, DB, sophomore. Jeff Sonlock, tight end and defensive end, senior. Adrian Hernandez, senior, athlete. Bubba Tanner, athlete, senior. Good evening, folks. Welcome to Harmon Field, Bill Chapel Stadium, in game five on this Dalton 2023 football season. Tonight, Coming to you from Harmon Field, we are getting ready to host the Cedartown Bulldogs. My name is Ladarian Edgman, and I am joined, as always, by Curtis Carson. And, of course, as always, we are coming to you on the live stream through Brandon Brown Productions. Before I go any further, let me mention our corporate sponsors who are responsible for this broadcast, those being Adcock Financial Group, Associates of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Bear Paper Tube, Biltwell Bank, Carpets of Dalton, Kaler Industrial Sales, Cano Coel Banker, Canard Realty, Direct Packaging, Duncan Tree Services, Engineered Floors, Fort of Dalton, Jefferson's, Jefferson's again this year, open late after home games, so be sure to get by Jefferson's, Hamilton Medical Center, Helton Tire, Longhorn Steakhouse, Oakwood Cafe, Peds Care, Transformers Transmission and Complete Auto Repair, the Dalton Quarterback Club and Brandon Brown Productions. On your screen, you will notice the captains for Dalton getting ready to uh, walk out on the field and meet the Cedartown captains. Your captains for Dalton this evening, number one will be Bubba Tanner. Bubba was getting him a drink, so Bubba is a captain. Number one, Bubba Tanner. Number two, Adriel Hernandez. Number 34, David Rivas. And number 48, Yair Sosa. We come into this game 4-0, getting ready to take on a Cedartown Bulldog team. As many folks remember from last year, Cedartown made it all the way to the state championship. They lost in the state championship, but Cedartown had one heck of a football team last year. They were hit hard by graduation, but they're still Cedartown, which means they are still fast, athletic. Cedartown is one and three on the field, but they're actually two and two. And what we mean by that is they played Callaway. Callaway won that game 27 to 10, but evidently Callaway used some ineligible players. So the GHSA stripped Callaway of that win over Cedartown. So Curtis, Cedartown this week went from one and three to two and two. But as I have already mentioned, my friend, they are still Cedartown and Dalton has got to be balanced tonight. Yeah, I mean, tonight's obviously a powerhouse night. We've got two teams coming in. Cedartown, we know what they are last year. This year, they're still a mystery. Calhoun took them down. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Dalton's been playing really good. They've been playing really good defense. It's hard to score on our defense. Uh, offensively, we've been extremely balanced, as you said. And I think that's by design. We can run it. We can throw it. Last week, we played uh, Lasseter, right? Correct. And first play of the game, deep pass. So Kendrick's London. You've All got... Right. You've got really good, talented players playing both ways. Cedartown's got players playing both ways. Dalton's got players playing both ways. And I expect a really good game tonight. Um, I think Cedartown beat Hiram by one, not Hiram, uh, Rockmark. Rockmark by one. Correct. But it was a low scoring game. So 14, Cedartown has lost some of their talent, lost some of their, their, their step, so to speak. And let's hope Dalton comes out tonight ready to play and jumps on them early. Last, what, two weeks ago, we played Rockmark. Jumped it on, jumped on them 14 to nothing. Then we kind of just went to sleep. So hopefully tonight we jump on them and keep going because this is not a team you want to play with. No, 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 no. Dalton getting ready to uh, come through, entering Harmon Field, and here comes the Big Red. Dalton 4 and 0. Oh.
Boy, that right there just gets your juices flowing right there. Just coming on the Harmon Field, the band playing the fight song, uh, getting ready to put that red helmet on. And that red helmet means something. It means something to those players. It means something to this community. I see Coach uh, Bill Chapel in the stands again. It's always a pleasure to have him. Absolutely. At his stadium where he, he, he just was – so good, so good of a coach, so good of a human being, treated his players with love and respect, and so it's good to see him come out and cheer on the, the Catamounts when he can. I, um, I see so many former players come up to Coach Chapel and his wife, give them hugs. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, maybe it's some, some that played for other coaches, they don't want to see their coaches anymore, but people not only love seeing Coach Chapel, they'll come up and shake hands with him, give him a, give him a hug. The, uh, the loyalty that they still feel as grown men to Coach Chapel uh, is beyond impressive. Dalton is going to be receiving the opening kickoff. We have number one, Bubba Tanner, number two, Adriel Hernandez, back around their own five-yard line. Dalton comes into this game having scored 162 points on the year. They have given up 62, so we have outscored our opponents by exactly 100 points. We are averaging 40 and a half points a game. We are averaging giving up 15 and a half points a game. So, uh, and, and Curtis, let's hope that's continued. Well, just to add a little bit to that, some of that, the points that we've actually given up are in late in the late, second half. Right. You're letting some young guys play. I know Rotmark, I believe, or Schnorville, one of the other, scored two quick touchdowns on us there late. You're exactly right. It's going to be a short kickoff. That's As it. number 13, R.J. Story, is going to receive the kickoff. So, Dalton will come out first and 10. Game five of this 2023 season. This is our final non-region game. The uh, The season gets real next week as the Hiram Hornets come into Harmon Field, but right now it's got up hands full with the Cedartown Bulldogs. Dalton will start out first and 10 from their own 28-yard line. As we've mentioned, I think we're going to look to be balanced. Uh, you've got Bubba Tanner in the backfield starting us out. Ethan Long, shotgun snap. I've, I've mentioned this a couple of times. I've always known Cedartown to have those silver helmets, so I'm uh, trying to get used to this new look they've got. Of course, they still got the silver with the gray pants. We're going to have uh, Bubba Tanner on this first play. Bubba has busted it out to his own 40. Bubba's going to go out around the own, his own 41-yard line. No flags. First play of the game. First down, Dalton. Great job right there by Coach Long. That was a really good play call, kind of putting – Bubba in motion, giving him a little running head start. He and, has and done a he's done a fantastic job on the call, on the uh, play calling for this offense. He is doing a great job using his weapons, and uh, as you say, you know, getting the uh, skill guys open in space, but yet keeping the uh, interior line honest, and then hit him with that pass. So he's done a fantastic job. Ethan's going to roll out of the pocket, going to throw one out here for Adriel Hernandez. Adriel great makes catch. a one-handed catch. Adriel's going to be bumped around the 49-yard line. Will be short. It's going to be second down and two. Second and short, Curtis. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, you want to stay ahead of the chains. That was a great catch by Adriel right there. Uh, Ethan had somebody in his face, had to throw it a little above his, his hands, and Adriel had, you know, athleticism to pull that down. Like you said, we stay above the chains. Mm -hmm. Coach Long's got anything at his disposal right now. You can run. You can pass. He has got some serious weapons to use and does a fantastic job getting them – Getting them action. Got Bubba Tanner going in motion. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw one out here intended for R.J. Story. R.J. had it. Come out of his hands. Incomplete. It'll be second down and two. Number 27 on the coverage for Cedartown, which is Tay Harris. Not a bad pass by Ethan right there. You're going to throw that where only your man can get it. Right. R.J. made a really good, try, a good play on it. Just couldn't pull it in. That angle in his hands, it was just hard to kind of get around. You know, we get used to, after you watch football in college, they kind of turn their bodies and get in position to make those catches. It's mm -hmm. just hard for a high schooler to do that, I think. Dalton with three receivers to the bottom, one to the top. This is third down and two, early third down conversion at Dalton. Now Dalton has the diamond package down here. Going to throw this now to Adriel. Come on, Adriel. Adriel's got the first down. Adriel's got more. Adriel Hernandez is still going. No flags. First down, Dalton. Yes. What a great play call again by Coach Long. Good execution by the offense. And Adriel just being Adriel. Very athletic, very fast. Catches the pass and, and makes the play. Right now we're kind of keeping Cedartown off, the, off their heels. We're obviously trying to stay wide. 
Uh, we'll probably tackle them some in the middle at some point, but they're taking away the box, so we're going to try to hit the edges. And I tell you, early first quarter, hats off to this offensive line because they're giving Ethan time to throw, giving our running backs already uh, room to run. So the unsung heroes, the offensive line, got one out here to Kendricks London out on the edge. Kendricks is going to be hit by number 27. Number 27, again, Tay Harris. Curtis, is he the one that has committed to Georgia? Oh. They have got one that has committed to Georgia, and I'm thinking it's uh, 27 Tay Harris. It's possible. I'll be honest. I haven't. I do know what you're saying, but I have not paid attention. And I'm a Georgia Bulldogs fan, but I haven't paid that close attention. Second down and six, Dalton from the Cedar Town 21 yard line. He got a little more yards than I thought he got. So he that's did. a good first down play again. He sure did. Dalton needs to get it down to about the Cedar Town 15 to get a fresh set of downs. Going to throw one out here intended for RJ. Did RJ catch, catch that with one hand? Oh, goodness gracious. That's incredible. One hand, he was he had already fallen on the ground. He caught the, yeah, I tell you, I don't know what RJ wants to pursue, but he could think about the circus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is amazing the things he can catch. And here's the funny thing. He gets up, and he's kind of upset with himself for falling down, but what a catch. I mean, you know, RJ, you just caught it with one hand on the ground. Rolling over. And you should have got the first down out of that. I mean, you know, make him run laps around the stadium or something. Goodness, what an athlete. Third and one, Dalton from the Cedartown 16-yard line. Big Red got him an open and drive going here as we got Bannon failing as he gets back. Adriel with the ball. Adriel is going to be uh, – Mm. He got it. Looks like they've got his. He's right there on the line. Depending on where the. Yep. 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 Going to move the chains. First down, Dalton. But I don't I mean I don't know if that's how it's always going to be. But you'll see how hard it is to run at that middle against Cedar Town. Number 55 is a a young man that looks to be a man amongst boys, and so does 71. So 55 is Jacoby Diamond, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he looks like he's ready for the NFL. Yeah, it's, I'm just trying to interpret kind of what the uh, game plan is. And obviously, staying away from the middle is our best option at this point. Especially early. Ethan going to throw it out here to number five, Kendricks. London Kendricks takes his defender head on. Oh, Bannon, Bannon Phelan. Phelan's giving uh, Kendricks an assist. Forward progress looks like maybe down to the eight-yard line where it's going to be a second and short. Good job, Bannon, on the assist, helping out Kendricks there. And I give Kendricks credit. I mean, he saw where he didn't really have anything, and, you know, they kind of teach you just. He took him head on. Put your head down and get as much as you can out of what you can get. I and, like and that. Ken, and uh, Kenny did a good job, once again, standing ahead of the chains, keeping positive yardage. Second and three for the Big Red offense. we got Kendricks, London to the top, R.J. Story to the bottom, Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. Big Red looking good on their opening drive. Ethan with the ball. Ethan's going to take off. Ethan now going to throw it out. Oh, oh my goodness, no. we got an interception. That looks like right on we the one-yard line. we got a pick right line. here at the one or two-yard line. Cedar Town has picked off Ethan, but they're going to be a long way from, uh, yeah, the one-yard line looks like. Literally. So they're 99 yards away from a touchdown. Right at the one-yard line. Well, the good news is our defense has got them in a hole. Let's just don't let them get out. Yeah, I think Ethan would love to have that playback. Um, he's kind of getting some pressure there. I, I think you, he kind of forced a little bit. Ethan's got some wheels. He might could have, you know, got a lot on his own. But uh, with his kind of speed, you can make things happen. First and ten, Cedartown from their own one-yard line. Yeah, you want your, your defense here to, to kind of stand up and, and not give them any kind of yardage to keep that pressure on. Well, hats off to Ethan. As many passes as he's thrown, I'm having trouble remembering any other than that one. I'm having trouble remembering any interceptions he's thrown this year. Maybe one more. It seems I don't, like there was one on a – Was it a, was one a, in a North Reed? Murray game or something? It seems like it. Cedartown from the one-yard line is number 27, Tay Harris, takes on number seven, Andy Otagana. Great tackle by Andy, but, they, you know, Cedartown got about three yards on that play. One thing, Curtis, I've noticed about 27 for Cedartown, he's very physical. He's a very physical back. They're a very large team. I mean, look at that offensive line. So, as the, the game goes on, we need to make sure we keep the control of the ball as much as we can, for sure. Cedartown's moved it up to their own four-yard line where it's second and seven. Cedartown with their quarterback, Drew Ledbetter, goes under center. Harris again with the ball. Harris is going to be going out around the six. Trucker Woods had a real good opportunity to make that tackle behind the line, and I bet, I bet he'd like to have that back. He kind of slipped right off his, his leg, it looks like. Third down and a long four. Boy, if our defense can hold these guys right here. Mm. Yeah, you'd like to see a, 
a deep end zone punt, get the ball, a good field position, let Ethan and the offense try one more time. Cedartown started on their one. They're up to the seven, so they've gained six, so it's third and four. Again, their quarterback is Drew Ledbetter, 6'1", 180 pound. We've got some well, – no, 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 no whistles, flag. no anything, so keep going. Striker kind of jumped mm -hmm. there, but he didn't go across, I guess. One of their guys jumped too. Number five has got the first down. Number five being Isaiah Johnson. Big back. That's a first down for the Bulldogs. They're going to move the chains. Yeah, you can see how Cedartown – they did this last year. I mean, they're just a running team. They can ground and pound they it. They ground and pound it. Last year, well, they just had a lot of really large plays that hurt Dalton. But this year, I mean, we're trying to keep them corralled. But you definitely wanted that third down to be a fourth down. You know, last year, Cedartown ran that sugar huddle. Very similar to what Lock Rockmark did, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Number eight for Cedartown, Demarcus Gardner and Andy Atongana having a little conversation with each other. Great tackle. I didn't hear catch the name. I didn't see who made the tackle. No, I didn't either. Um, no gain, which is great news. Second and ten. Cedartown with two wideouts at the bottom. They run like that wing yep. with those, uh, you called it a, uh, like a pistol, a pistol wing pistol or something. Winger, yeah. Great, Great job on that defense. That right there is getting interesting. Oh, uh -oh. There goes one. Okay, who's Please it on? Not be Dalton. It might be Andy because he was nodding with his helmet, and that's all the official wanted to see. Gosh, got to keep that's our all composure. It took. All he they did don't was, need any more help. Mm -mm. All he did was nod his helmet, yep. and that's all it took. So to get on the, the other side of the field with number eight, and now you're getting kind of mixed up with 14. And I don't know who's causing it, so obviously I'm not going to speak to that. But we've got to keep our composure and make sure we don't allow this to happen. We had two really good plays for no yardage, and now we're giving them a first down and new right. set of downs. Right. Sounded like one of the coaches was not very happy with Andy. Cedartown has now got the ball up to their own 28. First and 10, compliments of a 15-yard unsportsmanlike on Dalton. And again, we don't know what's going on, but we got to keep our composure. Fumble, fumble, 33 recovered it. He fumbled it, he recovered it. 33 is Jules Davis. I can kind of see now why the uh, Rodmark game was like 14 to 13. I yeah. mean, they are ground and pound. Right. They're not going to, I mean, at this moment, they're not going to run it past us. It's really just getting three yards or whatever they can get out of whatever, you know, their little sugar Shooter. huddle, whatever their little game is they're playing. It's something like that. Uh, Cedartown, second and 14. They lost four on that on that uh, on that fumble. Number five, great job on that Dalton defense. Number five, Isaiah Johnson. And number three, Jeff Son locked right in the middle of that. Jeff Son and Peyton Starling. I'll tell you, Jeff Son had a really good game against Rockmark. He's having an incredible senior year. I said that last week, and nothing's changed. He's just having a great year. He is setting the edge really well. He is. Wow. I'm still determined to redshirt him somehow. Third and 15. All right. If we stop him, let's don't do anything that will give him 15. Yeah. Keep our composure. Ledbetter from the uh, shotgun. Ledbetter going to roll out. He's under pressure from Adriel. Pass is going to be incomplete. We got a fourth down. Good job, Dalton. Good Great job, job on that Dalton D. Good job on the defense right there. Curtis with, unless he kicks about an 80 yard punt. And Bubba Tanner should have fantastic field position with any kind of return. Yeah, and Bubba is not expecting him to kick an 80 yard punt. After their kickoff, we'll see what they have on their punt, but, and who knows, you know, their, their kickoff wasn't the farthest thing, but that could be just trying to place it, so I don't want to. Drew Ledbetter is also your punter, number one, so he's pretty busy when the Cedartown offense has the ball. Oh. Got through that line pretty good. Is Bubba going to pick that one up? Bubba is going to. Bubba's going to. Woo, Bubba picked it up around his own 26. Bubba's going to be took out around the 40 yard line where Dalton will come out first and 10. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Hey, folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. We're proud to be the only President's Award winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America, and Ford of Dalton is built for you. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. 
Biltwell Bank. Right back here with you at Harmon Field. 4.30, this has been a fast first quarter. 4.30 left to go in the opening quarter, no score, as Dalton will get their second offensive series. Big Red drove it down deep into Cedar Town's territory. We ended up throwing a pick down here where Cedar Town took over for theirs. Ethan is under duress. Ethan's coming back to this side. Ethan's going to take off with it now, and they're closing it. Ethan lost the ball, and right behind him was Bannon Phelan. You talk about being in the right place at the right time. Wow, great job, Bannon. Yeah, we're going to have to kind of control that ball a little bit. We've gotten a little squirrely with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we kind of talking during the break. I think the coaches are going to tell Mr. Tanner, maybe don't touch that ball, but he did, and it worked out for us. And then Ethan's making a play here, and it kind of runs out of his hands, and luckily Bannon's there to – to take it, so we need to make sure we take care of that ball. Just think if Bannon wasn't doing, wasn't hustling on that play, it might be Cedar Town's ball right there. That's why you you show those video clips in you know the film room to just show why hustle matters. Second and four, Dalton now up to the 46 yard line. Ethan with Adriel. Adriel going to hand off to Adriel. Adriel's looking for some room. Adriel's going to be took down around the 47, maybe. Uh, this is a very physical football game already, you can tell. Yeah. I, I kind of have a feeling. I don't, I'm just going to kind of say what I think, but I think somebody's going to be getting another personal foul penalty. I just think it's going to oh, happen. Yeah, yeah. That I will. think they're they're going to show their physicality, and I think play, playing after the whistle, it, it, there's no sense in it. So there's some uh, playing with – Playing with a chip on her shoulder. While, while Andy's got to keep Andy uh, Antigon has got to keep his composure. Exactly. That wasn't just him. No. Cedar Town was kind of agging on a little bit. He's just the one that got caught. Exactly. Or he's the one that got caught because all he did was again not his helmet. Dalton with that diamond package to the top. This is going to Bubba Tanner. Bubba is going to be short of the first down. With this Cedar Town defense, you can't juke and jive and dance left and right. You've got to turn it upfield because they've got the speed and the quickness to stay with our skill guys. So that's going to be fourth down and two from our own 48. Yeah, you see the adjustments from Cedar Town. First possession, we hit them on the edges. They weren't playing with that one. We, play, we, we ran that play already, and they just came running right at it. Looks like Dalton might go for it here. We're either going to do a quick kick or we're going to try to just draw them off. I think we're just going to try to, because Ethan is a master at this stuff, going to try to draw them off. We may be, uh, I don't know, we may be calling a timeout if they don't jump. Nope, nope, a quick kick. There we go. Okay, the quick kick. Row, 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 row. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Kendrick's trying to get out of the Kendrick's way. Kendrick's trying to do the two-step, get out of the way. Ball's going to be down to the Cedartown 30-yard line. Well, Curtis, we've had a lot of action, but so far nobody's dented the scoreboard. I mean, but it's been a wild game so far. Yeah, sorry to talk over you. Well, obviously, a, a, a two talented defense is going at it right now. Um, they're I trying think, to fill each other out. Yeah, and I think Dalton's going to begin to stretch the field a little bit, try to go downfield. Cedar Towns, again, looks like they're really beefy in the middle, so it's going to be hard to run up the gut. we got to watch this 27, this Tay Harris guy. He, uh, he is lightning. Yeah, you've got to make sure you, you maintain your gaps, your integrity, do your job. Now, that was a sugar huddle right there. Striker almost went off. He, he gave it to him that time. Uh, yep, that's a five-yarder against Dalton, so it's going to be first and five for Cedartown as that will move the ball up to their own 35. And that's frustrating. Uh, Striker would tell you because, I mean, the ball is right there in front of you. So make just sure watch, you're paying attention to the ball. Just watch the ball, but it's so hard to do it when you're is. wanting to make a play. Just watch the ball. And we've talked about strikers, you know, energy level. He Love just, his motor. He doesn't stop. Love his motor. First and five, Cedar Town from their own 35-yard line. Drew Ledbetter, one of the few quarterbacks we see, goes under center that much. Five is Isaiah Johnson, the big back. And I'm telling you, we've <laughs> – I'm telling you, they keep playing They're, after the whistle. My goodness. At some point, the officials are going to have to exactly. get control of that. Exactly. You can't call this one way now. There's, there's some uh, some of that verbal stuff going on both sides. Johnson gained two, so it's second and three. Ball is up to the Cedartown 37-yard line. Yeah, giving them five yards really doesn't help your no. offense. Dalton's defensive line, we got 89, Preston Cox, 75, Strucker Woods, 52, Peyton Starling, three, Jeff Son Locke. Dalton in a four-man uh, four front on the defensive line. Is that Johnson? Johnson's got the first down. First down for Cedartown. That'll move the chains. No flags. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, again, I think this is the same offense they ran last year. This isn't different. Just diff I'm just assuming different their quarterback – is their quarterback changed? I'll be honest. I don't yeah, he wasn't quarterback last year. So maybe not the best thrower, I would imagine. So they're just – it's a lot of run plays. He looks, you up the middle. He's listed at 6'1", but he looks bigger than that to me. It's like he'd be 6'1", sitting down. You just don't see him under center much anymore. Number 30. He's still going 33. Great hit by Adriel Hernandez. We got a player down, that's striker Woods. 33 is Jules Davis, but we got striker. Oh, okay, striker's back up. Uh, this guy got hit in the back of the helmet the way he's. Uh, Holding his uh, yeah, yeah. neck. Yeah. yeah, I think you need to take him off and let him get a little breather. Number nine in cast, Benton coming in. Benton's a heck of a ball player himself. First and 10, Cedartown from the Dalton 49 yard line. That hard count, if you mm -hmm. watch the quarterback, that's what's kind of trying to get us. Oh, there we go. Great job, R.J. Story. Great job. 33 again on the carry. Jules Davis, who's a very busy bulldog for Cedartown. Davis picked up one, thanks to R.J. Yeah, I want to give, the, again, the credit to the coaching staff, the defensive coaching staff. I've uh, talked about Coach Carpenter, and he just, they scheme very well. Mm -hmm. And you can tell they have schemed for this. They know what they're going to run. They kind of know the plays, what's going to happen when win, and now it's just going out and executing and making the tackles. This first quarter is just about history as we're down to 21 seconds to go in the opening quarter. No score, second and nine. Davis again with a carry. Davis is going to be short. It's going to be third and fairly short as we're going to be heading into the second quarter, scoreless from Harmon Field, game five on this season. We're down to four seconds, three seconds. Folks, we will be right back with you to start of the second quarter. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Have you been told it's gonna take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. Welcome back to Harmon Field. Getting ready to start the second quarter. No score. We're used to uh, Dalton already having some points on the board, but uh, Cedartown is a different animal. This is a very evenly matched game. Dalton has had some miscues that hurt their own self. Yeah, I mean, we've had the opportunity. We had a really good opening drive and unfortunately made a, a little mistake. And then second drive didn't go so well, and Cedartown's having a pretty decent second drive at this moment. That is a big offensive line Cedartown has as they're going to run it right up the gut. That's big uh, Johnson, and that looks like a first down. Isaiah Johnson. That's going to move the chains. They are big up the middle. Yeah, and I'll tell you right now, this is Cedartown's game. Like they're, This is how they want to play the game. Ground and pound. They want it to be a slow, meticulous game. Hold the ball, keep Dalton's offense off of the field, mm -hmm. and wear down that defense. Dalton's offense is like a quick strike, and this is a ground and pound, take time off the clock. Yeah, you got to win. You got to win first down on you this do. type of defense you or do. offense. So you got to win first down. Can't give them five yards. Can't give them two yards. Jules Davis again on the carry. Great job by number ten, Staten. That's Calum. That's Calum. Yes. Yes, I'm getting there. Game five. I'm finally getting there. Again, they're ahead of the sticks on that. So they are. We've got to try to make some positive plays on defense to keep them behind the chains. 
Because their they're ga passing game, I mean, they're probably going to hit a couple, but they obviously don't want to throw it because they've thrown one pass. Second down and a long five for Cedartown as our big reds off uh, defense is uh, – on the, on the, been on the field so far to start this game, been on the field a little bit more than what we'd like to see. But again, they are taking on some boys that are a little bit bigger than they are. 27 again on the carry. 27 being Tay Harris. We're going to be familiar with Tay Harris, Drew Ledbetter, and Newells. So now it's still a third and four. That was a really good second down. I'd say that was a win for Dalton on that play. We just got to make sure that's a long four yards. So Jules Davis. I knew I'd get that name right eventually. All Bringing right. Bringing in Riley Souther here. Third and a long three. Ball is on the uh, Dalton 31-yard line. Cedartown needs to get down to about the 27 and a half. Win your blocks, boys. Win your blocks. Need to get this ball back right here. Right there. Take him. Yep. Well, even if he – he looks like he's oh. right at it. He didn't. He looks like he's got it. And I think he's a little short. Is but he? At the end of the day, they gave him an excellent spot. Well, still waiting on to put it down. Yeah, he looks to be maybe a half yard short. Curtis, I'm glad to say that you're right on that because I'd rather it be fourth and short than already first because anything can happen. We're gonna call for the chains. Officials aren't convinced, so they're gonna call for the chains. Hey, I like the way that uh, marker over there backed up. You see that for the That'd, three? It'd be nice, but I don't think that's going to be the case. They're going to call the chains out. You was getting me excited. I was getting excited <laughs> here. Yeah, I don't like where it is now. Well, I thought they were, but I don't see no chains coming out. So I don't know what's – oh, there they get. They're grabbing it. Well, we may be back to the third and tater tot. We're just going to need to make sure that, you know, I'm sure Cedartown's going to go on it fourth and whatever uh, this yeah. is. It's, yeah. If it's not a first down, which I assume it's about a half yard short, um, Cedar Town's going for it. Yep. Going to be fourth down and about a foot. Result of the measurement is fourth down. Well, That's where you put your heavy package in. This is where the benefit of having <laughs> that massive offensive line comes into it play. It does, but you can chuck a block and, and get in the backfield. You can hit them before the ball gets there. You may be able to make the play. So. And you better chuck it quick. But they are a very large offensive line. We've dealt with them before. Yeah. These young men have seen this before. Fourth down, about a foot. Cedartown, no shock to anybody. We'll be going for this. Asking a lot of this Maybe defense to stop these guys for a foot. Yeah. First down, Cedartown. That'll move the chains. Look at nine. You could get nine out there for Taunton. See? Yeah, but he was he went right to him. he went right to Antigona. Right to him. Right to him. Yeah. Fortunately, right up the middle was, you know, pretty open and they they made that with ease. Mm-hmm. First and ten, Cedar Town from the Dalton 24. Harris with the ball. Tough running. Good job on that Dalton D. Good gang tackling there. That's a win for the defense right there. Several red helmets on this tackle. Denzel Vasquez, Jeff Sign Lock, number one, Bubba Tanner. Ten, Caleb Staten. Several guys in on that tackle. I will say at this rate, the uh, game will be over <laughs> very quickly. Halftime may be longer than the game. That clock is ticking away, boys. Got now two we, yards. That's a win for Dalton. Down to 8.35. My math is correct. Two times four is eight, right? So. All day long. Don't matter where you're from, all day long. We got a timeout on Cedar Town's offense. We'll be right back to Harmon Field, folks. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. 
Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! Right back here with you at Harmon Field. Cedartown with a second and eight as we are uh, watching Cedartown eat a, ton, eat a ton of clock. Yeah, this is definitely Cedartown ball right here. Yeah, they're controlling the game. This is what they want to do. So we got to find a way to get that ball back. And we've got to come up for an answer for this uh, clock management because we're not getting the ball any hardly as we got 823 left to go here in the second quarter. Harris with the ball. That's a good open field tackle by number 13, R.J. Story. Again, that's a win for Dalton. I think they got three yards on that play. That's going to bring up third and about five for uh, Cedartown. As the ball is down to about the Dalton 19. I think R.J. got a little. I can understand why. That I is some big boys. And he's got a running start. 20, Adrian Gongora coming in to replace R.J. Man, this is big. We need to get these guys off the field. Third down. Ledbetter going to run out of the pocket. Going to be Ooh, intercepted. intercepted. Andy, yes. Gana. Andy Otagana interception. Dalton. Woo. That a baby, Andy. Did you see the athleticism? One-handed catch. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Andy. They just threw a yep. flag on Andy. Throw it. All he did was throw the football. Nah, I mean, you got to be smart. That's, yeah. You got to you keep your composure. Excitement. Great play by Andy. We're not going to take away from it. We're not going to worry about that. We've got the ball back. Now it's time for the offense to go to, to, go to work. It's amazing what you see, though. It is, but it's okay. Yeah. We got the ball back. Andy made a great play. Sorry for come to talking over you. Lord, uh, but I, that I'm was just an amazing I'm, play by Andy. I'm married. I'll get over that. <laughs> but that was such a great play by Andy. Reading it and uh, making a play on the football. One-handed catch. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, you got to have emotion play this game. If you show emotion, you may get penalized. Yeah, I remember watching in college football they used to – to do that and it, it's hard because he's just an emotional kid and he's happy but being his second yeah let's look for stuff to throw it i think andy might be out of the game would that be because it's his second one yep i think andy's out of the game is what they're telling the coach right now curtis you may be right because if that's his second unsportsmanlike penalty yep i believe andy is going to be gone we're going to need somebody to step up next man up mentality I hate it for the young man because you know goodness. he's emotional. What he a wants player, to too. Mm. Wow. I Boy, feel that, sorry that, for Andy. Uh, I won't even give my opinion on that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you've got to be. Yeah, you do. At the end of the day, I also think you've got to take into consideration the young man. you got to. Yeah, you know. I'm just going to be quiet on that. Uh-oh. Dalton has fumbled in the backfield and recovered by number 13, which is Sam Smith. That's going to be another gift for Cedartown as the Bulldogs will take over in Dalton's red zone. Unfortunately, Ethan's going to have to get some stickums on his hands. He has lost the ball twice now. Yeah. Uh, we've got to get something because he was about to throw the ball and it just kind of slipped out of his hand. These guys are good enough to beat you on their own. Cedartown will have the ball. First and goal from their own eight-yard line. Now you need uh, defense to uh, step up here. Best they can. Bell out your offense right now. Oh, that's putting a lot of pressure on that defense. But they got, yeah, you like I said, you know, to keep these guys off the board, you got to do it. Twenty-seven. Harris again with the ball. Harris has turned that corner. Did he? He's out of bounds. Yeah, he was he, out of bounds when he crossed the pylon, but you never know. I was He was re reaching the football. And I was wondering if that football popped out. Maybe got a little fumble across the end zone. That's C what I was hoping. Cedartown down to the Dalton one or two. Maybe the one. As you can't keep giving these guys gifts because they're good enough to beat you on their own without the gifts we're giving them. 
Yeah, now we're having to play a game without one of our, uh -huh. our, our better players. Second and goal from Dalton's one. Number five, physical runner up the middle. Again, this is set up by Dalton fumbling inside their 10 yard line. So Cedartown does a great job and takes advantage of it. And that's what good teams do. Exactly, and you just can't give it to them. No, no, not them, uh-uh. So Dalton's gonna have to get out of this hole that they're digging. All right, six nothing Cedartown with 7.20 left to go here in the second quarter. Because now Cedartown's got a lot of momentum on their side. Number 84 getting ready to kick is Edgar Bermudez. I may be mispronouncing that. Ed Edgar Bermudez, I believe. Kick is up and good. Cedartown with a seven to nothing lead. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. VidLink brings the roar of the track to you. Start your engines. The race is on. Be there for all the action at home with VidLink. You can restart and replay content, watch HD movies, sports, and local channels, all from your television, computer, or smartphone. Backed by local customer service. No contracts. So keep the good times rolling. It's the all-in-one streaming app from OptiLink that gives you the ultimate view. It's a winner. Get VidLink today. So we got number two, right back with you at Harmon Field. Cedartown has just took advantage of a Dalton fumble inside their own 10 yard line. Yeah, off of a really good play by Andy and, uh, mm -hmm. you say it. Andy Atongana. Atongana. I Who was get it. Uh, ejected from the game because that was his second unsportsmanlike penalty. So, uh, it's a fresh slate. This one's going to be going to Adriel Hernandez. Adriel ran his own 11. Adriel has got a hole. Adriel's going to be tripped up around his own 35. Careful, Adriel. Don't show any motion. All righty. Dalton will take over first and 10 from their own 35-ish. And, and I'll be honest, just looking at that play, if Adriel don't get tripped up there, I think he takes it to the house because Caleb made a great uh, block for him on the punter. Luckily, didn't get a blind side, but it wasn't a blind side because the kid was looking. They were face-to-face. -face. It wasn't coming backwards. But... Um, Unfortunately, he just got two string tackled and right. Hey, we got good field position though, and we've got to make something happen here. Sometimes them shoe strings can keep you from doing great things. First and ten, Dalton from their own 35. Cats need to keep this ball and go downfield and score. We got a whistles and we got a timeout on some timeout on Dalton. AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red. 54 years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. The 22 football season is here and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck teams and go dogs! Woo! Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go Catamounts! Right back with you here at Harmon Field. 7-13 left to go in the second quarter. Game five on this 2023 season. Dalton is down seven to nothing to Cedartown. Well, we opened the game. We had a really good drive. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, Cedartown's had the big mo. We mm -hmm. need to get the big mo right here. Right. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw one out here intended for number five, Kendricks. Yes! There it is. Kendricks London. Is he going to go? Yes, Kendricks all the way to the house, baby. Touchdown, Dalton. I don't see any dirty laundry on the Woo! field. That touchdown will stand. Great job. Great the big, pass. The Big Reds cut it to one. 
I told us we have to be vertical at some point. Look what Dalton does when he don't beat herself. What, what, uh, what a great throw by Ethan uh, Long right there and Kenny just running under the football and making a great play and then the athleticism to take it all the way to the house. Last week it was the first play of the it game. It was the first play of the game. This week we waited a little longer. Coach Long said, you know what, forget dabbling on the edges. We're just going to take you straight down the field. Bingo. 20, Adrian Gangor ready for your PAT. Number 12, Asher Renfro on the hold. This will be to tie the game up at seven. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. And it is, we got a flag got on a this. flag, but no good, so let's see what happens. What is going on? We're getting mixed up again on the field. We got Eric Frere getting rolled over. Let's now, see what the, what the call is. Elf, this, Elf, this was against Cedartown. Would it be half the distance? Let's just see what it is. Calm down, Ladarian, kill is the motor. It, is it post or is it pre-snap or during the snap? We got some verbal yakking going on. We definitely Dalton have is going to bring in, I believe, the two-point conversion team as the penalty would be half the distance against Cedartown. So Dalton looks like they'll be going for two. Curtis, I'm going to throw you under the bus. It's second quarter. Would you still kick it or would you go for two? I'm sitting here thinking that myself, LD. I think, I mean, Cedartown's really beefy up the middle. Yeah. And we saw how hard it is to run up the middle. Right. Um, so I, I think they've got a play call for this. Obviously, they want to make a play. So what is that? The one and a half it's on? It is. It's, it's what is that? Four yards, five, five or five feet, something like that. Uh, four and a half feet. All right. This one is going to Adriel. They've stopped us. Seven to six. Seven to six. Two-point conversion is no good. That's the risk because obviously yeah. that is what they're right. that's what they're good at. That's what we've been avoiding all right. night. And right. um, unfortunately, we couldn't make the play, so we're still point down. But hey, there's another flag or two flags. I'm telling you, they're going to have to get a control of this game, just like Rotmart. This is very similar to the Rotmart game, where it's just a lot of jawing, a lot of him hawing around. Cedar Town's been blocking way past the signal. Um, and I think they're finally going to get a hold of it, hopefully. I think this may be a double flag, so both teams. Off settings. Off settings, I think, to try to get control of the game. The Let's two. see. Nope, just against Dalton. Have wow. you ever seen a beat? <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. Have you ever seen a beat? <laughs> I try. Have I, you ever seen anything like this? Oh, man, I want to be positive. Try, but. Every time. I mean. You've got to see it. You've got to see that they're continuing to play after the whistle. You see what you want to see. Um, so they've got to get control of that yeah. from Cedartown. I mean, I don't want to call them out. It is what it is. But you got to get of, control here. There is a lot of chippiness going on out here. And it's amazing how it keeps getting called one way. Uh, this is amazing. We this just is a, amazing. We've, well, we got another player that's got a personal foul. Which one was it? It looked like it might have been Jeff, Jeff Son, but I don't that's know. That's what I was thinking. Um, it looked like it was him, but I don't know. That's what I was thinking. We've got to make sure <laughs> we can't lose another one. So we've got to keep our – if they want to continue, fine. The officials will take care of it. I'm going to trust in what they know. <laughs> <Okay>. I will. <laughs> we've got to keep our composure. we back. All righty. Dalton kicking off from their 25. Penalty was against them. Who knew? A penalty was against Dalton, the man. Number three. Uh-oh. Number three, Taji Neal. Right here is where you show that catamount pride and come up on the defense. Yeah. Because this is to. your home. This is your field. So Cedar Town will be starting again in Dalton territory. Cedartown will be on the Dalton 41, I think. Looks like it. 41 yard line. Yeah, you got to show some. Um, you got to show some grit here, and try to you know, bow your neck a little bit, and, and you've got to get them down. They've got to give them a short field. 652. They're not going to go very fast unless you give up a big play. No. We're so gonna, we're going to have to have some things go our way because we're battling several things tonight. So. Dalton's going to have to uh, somehow get this ball back. Is that one straight up the middle? That big back, number five, Isaiah. We can't get him down. Trying to stretch. Can't it. get him down. Look at the physicality, and you got to wrap those legs up. We're not wrapping the legs up and locking up. Yeah, what they're 
So what the, you're trying to do is you're going for the strip, and he's just very strong, and exactly. that ball doesn't pop out. So exactly. we got to change tactics, and we make sure we get him on the ground because that was way too much. Look the replay there. Yeah, that was way too much yardage for where we had him. We had him about five yards down the field. Tackle them legs. Forget tackling him around the shoulder pads. Take them legs. Cedartown got him a drive going, and right now they're just bullying Dalton's defense. Come on, Red. Same type play. Every Look at that. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. That's the offensive line controlling the game right there. Is that 39? No, 29? 20, I believe it's 29. 29? Yeah, I, I think, think it was 29. so. 29 is Jaquavian Price. Great run right up the gut. Yeah. Dalton Collins. didn't do anything to stop him on that run as that's going to make it 13 to 6. Cedartown with 6.09 left to go here in the second quarter. Well, it reminds me a little bit of the Paul Johnson triple option, to be honest, except there's not a lot of movement, but mm -mm. this back coming out of the backfield and moving, and you're, you don't know where they're going. The edges, the middle. We're having trouble with their size on that offensive line. They are definitely uh, pushing us around. 14 to – we got a helmet that just came off on Cedartown. 14 to 6. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for home. Every community has its challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Back with you here at Harmon Field as Cedartown is getting ready to kick off. The Bulldogs have just scored their second touchdown of the evening. Makes it 14 to 6, Cedartown. And there's the kickoff. It's going to be a short kick as Adrian Gangora calls for a fair catch around his own 27-yard line where Dalton will come out first and 10. Curtis, let's hope that our offense can uh, get something going here. Because I'm tired of seeing their offense on the field. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we had that big play, big strike, and then went for the two-point conversion off the penalty and didn't get it. And so we found ourselves in a little eight-point hole here. We've just kind of shot ourselves in the foot tonight. We've, we've Oh, big time. They've controlled the ball. They've mm -hmm. controlled the line of scrimmage. Sure but have. we've controlled the big plays, and we've, we've had our opportunities. It's not like we're getting just absolutely defeated. It's just we've got to settle down. No. And on defense, we've got to come up with a scheme to stop that run we somehow. We've got to quit helping them beat us because they don't need any help. They've proven they can do it on their own. All right. Dalton with Adriel Hernandez, and Hernandez is getting hit by about every player on the defense. And let's see what happened. As was there any – okay, the forward progress of about two yards, so it's second and eight. Uh, they're going to give Hernandez two on forward progress. And that was a really hard run. I mean, he got that he was got a, a hard good two lick, yards. So. He earned all of that six feet. Yeah, he did. And unfortunately, we're having to enter season play, you know, region play next yes. week against a really good Hiram, Hiram team. Hiram, who is lighting the scoreboard up. So we can't afford to go in there injured. Um, we need to have all of our guys healthy. So Dalton with three receivers at the bottom, one to the top. Bubba Tanner in the backfield with Ethan. Ethan's going to throw it out here to R.J. Story. R.J. making things happen as he does. That's a wooed right at the marker. Right at it. Okay. Now it's going to be short. We're going to mark him short. Second and one. A third and one. Excuse me. Third and one. I thought he got more than that, but uh, third and one is what it looks like as the ball is on Dalton's 36. I tell you, this is big. This is big. I mean, this is this is one of those plays, too. You've got to keep the momentum. You can't go in the half 21 Bingo. to nothing. Bingo. We got the ball to start the game, so they're going to get the ball to start the half. 
second half. So we've got to make sure that we uh, we got eight seconds. It's called timeout. Uh, we are. That's what we're going to do. We're going to call a timeout. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Hey, football fans. I'm Chris, and this is my dad, Charles. Here at Transformers, we believe in no gimmicks, just affordable pricing and quality repairs. Come see us at Dalton, Cartersville, or check us out online at transformerstransmission.com. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At coldwellbanker.com, you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Built Well Bank. Right back with you at Harmon Field as Dalton has a very big third down. Third and one, Dalton from their own 36-yard line. Cedartown with a 14-6 lead. 4.35 left to go in the second quarter. Let's hope our big red offense can get uh, three feet to keep this drive moving. Ethan's going to throw it out here to Kendricks. London Kenny has got the first down by the hair of his chinny chin chin, but he got it. Good job for Kendricks because he knew exactly the yards he needed to get, and he wasn't going to be denied. Cedartown has got the beef that's going to keep you from going up the middle. They've also got speed and quickness out on the perimeter, so that's going to, you know, this is a different animal that we're facing tonight. Uh, I mean, they've this, got the athletes to play with you. They do. They do. And they've got the beep to play with us. It's a little bit more. Official right, timeout, official I think. Official timeout of chains, it looks like. Or we got somebody with equipment issue over here. I think it's the chains. They're trying okay. to set the chains, yeah. Yeah, we've got to keep our composure. We kind of talked off break. We're just out of sync. Mm -hmm. We're allowing some of the extracurricular to get in our heads. We right. just need to play Dalton football. Right. Calm down and just have a little fun. Ignore what they're doing and focus on what you're doing. Right. Pass is complete to Bubba Tanner. Bubba is around midfield. Bubba's going to be took out around midfield, and that should be enough for a first down. Dalton, move the chains. It's a great play, but I'll tell you, that just shows the athleticism from Cedartown because against Lassiter and Snorville, that's around the edge, and he's got 15 yards. He had to run out of bounds because he mm -hmm. had to get there. Um, so we're just playing a really good team. This is a good test for Dalton, getting us ready for Hiram. But we very, just got to make sure that we stay healthy. Very good test. Very good test. Dalton right at midfield. Three receivers to the top, two to the bottom. Empty backfield for Ethan. Ethan with the ball, going to throw one out here intended for RJ. Oh, woo! Yes. Finally. Wow. I don't know. What, I mean, I don't. I mean, that's a very bad play. And luckily, luckily, RJ popped right up. He's okay. Um, let's see what the call is. I tell you, after seeing what happened to Nick Chubb the other night, any kind of play like that makes yeah. my stomach turn. I think you've got to go. I, I, they might wave this off. He called that pretty quick. He did. Let's see if they wave it off, though. Let's see. Yep. Told you. I don't know why you call it if you're going to not, but. He, as fast as he called it, what did he see? I mean, I think they I, talked him out of it or yeah, something. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think he didn't, like, when you go back and look at it, while it's a t t tough play, it wasn't really a, a penalty. No, it was just uh, it was a football hit, but why did he throw a flag? But Yeah, so why do you throw it? And so they got it right. Unfortunately, it just goes against Dalton one more time. Kind of a little sugar huddle from Dalton. Second and 10, Ethan going to throw. Ethan's coming under pressure. Oh, going to throw it out here to Adriel. Adriel, incomplete pass as Dalton is now looking at third and 10. Yeah, I think Ethan wanted to go long there and uh -huh. was trying to check it down. Cedartown got past our O-line pretty quick. They did, and he didn't have a lot of time. And they were double covered over Bubba, which is who I think he was trying to hit. Um, 349 left to go here in the second quarter. But again, we're wanting to make sure that we <laughs> we've got to maintain the ball. We got we yeah. need to stay close. Cedartown gets the ball back. You can't give them ball at midfield because they score. Then you're no. really going to have trouble coming back. But no, you want to you want to get the first down here for sure. You need to stay within reach, these guys. 
They are getting past our O-line as Ethan's under pressure. Ethan's going to throw an incomplete pass up here. Fourth down. Mm. And the look, he had Bannon. He tried to throw it to Bannon Thalen. It's, it's amazing. If you're not here in person, it's amazing. Michael Gibbons, Jr., number seven for Cedartown, uh, letting the officials know it was an incomplete pass. Adrian Gangora, back to punt for Dalton. Uh, 3.41 left to go here before halftime. Yeah, I think you've got to punt here. You can't give Cedartown the field, but we've no. got to make sure on defense we are solid. Good punt. Is that going into the end zone? That's a great punt. Ah, I got a bad bounce. Yep. Going into the end zone. We'll be right back to Harmon Field, folks. Taylor Industrial Sales after hours service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go, Catamounts! Right back at Harmon Field, where Cedartown takes over first and 10 of their own 20 as Adrian Gangora had a great punt. Unfortunately, went to the end zone. It's Trey, Tay Harris. Har oh! See, that to me, <laughs> that's yeah, 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 something yeah, yeah, like yeah, you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, that's a punch. Yeah, yeah. And right there's another flag. But, but, but don't be convinced that's on them. Be, that's don't not be on convinced. them. That's going to be on Dalton. But that's got to be, you've got to get control of them. I mean, I'm getting very frustrated if you're watching here, If it. you're here at the game, you see what's going on. Like, uh, you got to call that. That is yeah. a punch. I don't, yeah. I don't know how well, to describe what he just did. There's let's a see stiff what they, arm, and then there's a punch. Let's see what they call here. Okay. I can't believe it. Okay, I'll I can't it. believe it. It's, I think a good job by them. I'm sorry. That for was get a little sideways, but that was a. There's a well, difference between a stiff arm and a punch. You're calling what you see on the field. And that's what we're seeing. Second down, and that'll be a 15 yarder. Is that? Uh, so it's going to be the, after the players that before. Second and about 17 is what I'm thinking. But is that a, a post uh, play penalty? I don't or know that part, that's brother. The, it'll be their first or second. I don't know which one they're going to go with. They got second on the field, first on the board. Uh, I, I I don't know. We'll just see what happens as it goes through the sequence here. So we accept the penalty yardage. So, okay, they've changed it on the board now. Cedartown back to their own. It's like the 13. Great job. As we got a hold. Over. We got a flag. flag. That might be a hold. That might be a hold. That looks like an in-play penalty. They didn't, have time, they didn't have time enough for a uh, sports line, so that say, might be a hold. If it's a hold, I see Dalton declining this. Make it third. Third and long. long yeah, third and long. And I don't think Cedartown's going to want to give the Dalton the ball at any good field position. So They're talking to Coach Carpenter, but I've learned in the past that don't always mean anything. Yeah, I think, it, I think he declines it. Well, let's see what happens. Face mask on uh, Dalton. Dalton. Face mask on Dalton. <laughs> Man, we're just killing ourselves, <laughs> shooting ourselves in the foot. Oh, Lord have mercy. But, okay, so how is that not a 15 to 5 yard? Hey, evidently, I didn't know there was a 5 anymore with face mask. So Dalton did not do themselves any favor right there as we grab a face mask, evidently. Still second and 11. Second and 11. Uh, three, I got to learn my roster here. Three is still Ball's going. Out. Ball's out. We got Ball's a fumble got on the play. According to the players, Dalton's got Kaji it. Dalton's Neal. got it. Dalton's got it. Dalton's got it. All right. That's what we needed right there. A break has went Dalton's way as a Cats offense is going to take over deep inside Cedartown territory. I don't know who came out with that, uh, that ball. Bubba Tanner. Bubba, Bubba Tanner. Tanner made the, the, the Number one, recovery. Bubba Tanner. And that is going to be on the Cedartown 28-yard line where Dalton will have it first and 10. Well, we talked about it a little bit earlier. We've been trying to strip the ball, and it's been hard to get out. Right. But on that play, we were able to get it out. So so we gave them a gift inside the 10. Now they've given us one. Not quite as good field position, but that is their first turnover. We've had at least two. But I promise you we'll take it. Absolutely. All day long and <laughs> twice on Sunday. 
First and 10, Dalton from the Cedartown 28-yard line. 2.54 left to go here in the second quarter from Harmon Field. Ethan in the shotgun, going to roll out, looking for somebody to get open. Ethan's going to throw it out here, intended for Jeff Sonlock. Pass was incomplete, second and 10. Our, uh, Jeff Son was covered by number three, Taji Neal, three covering three. Yeah, I think Dalton's going to, like, Ethan's just got to settle his feet a little bit. He's getting a little happy feet. Cedartown's in our backfield pretty quick, and so he's struggling to set his feet and make a good, strong throw. Needless to say, I think it's safe to say this is the best defensive line we have faced all year yes, by far. By a large margin. By far. But this is kind of stuff we're going to see in our region too. Exactly. All right. Dalton with uh, Ethan in the shotgun is going to hand off to Adriel Hernandez. Adriel has turned the corner. Go, Adriel. Go, baby, go. Yes, Adriel down inside around the 10-yard line. And let's see how far he got to. He looks like he's right at the 10. That's going to move the chains. First down, Dalton. Yes. Great, great play, uh, by, or great run by Adriel right there, getting around the edge. And you turn the corner on those guys, you've done something. Good that's blocking speed on the edge right there. Good hole in their block and uh, keeping on the block. That way you can get your, your running back the space he needs. But, you know, that's the furthest away you can be from a touchdown with it being first down. <laughs> I mean, if it was just back a few more, we could get up a first down inside the one. But now we've got to go the whole ten to, to get the six. And, you know, the, the – the, Field tightens up right here. There's a lot of times you play as coach, you does practice it ever. this part of the field. Yeah, does it ever. All right, Adriel Hernandez with this one. Adriel's looking for some holes. Adriel's juking and jiving. Got down to about the Cedar Town four or five. Second and goal. Let's see where they mark. It looks like right at the five-yard line. And I'll tell you, that was a really good cutback by Adriel. He saw the, cut, the hole and took it. And our, took about three players with him. Our offensive line is doing a much better job right now with their D-line because he had some room to do that. We hadn't been having that in our last several drives. 2-10 left to go here before halftime. Dalton's just a content to kill the clock. Not a bad idea. We don't want to give Cedartown no. any time. I'm, I'm tired of them having the ball. They don't play for their ball hogs. They keep <laughs> it all night. All right, second and goal for Dalton from the Cedartown five. We got Bubba Tanner going in motion. Bubba's going to go back. Is we'll Bubba going to throw? Bubba's going. Back to Ethan. <sighs> ah, just couldn't set his feet. Oh, my goodness. What could have been? If Bubba sets his feet and can make a good pass, that's a touchdown. Oh. He tried to do a jump pass to going away from the the play and just couldn't make a good enough pass. It Boy, was there, was, though. was Ethan open. It was he wide open. He was there. I mean, credit. Is that number 13? For Cedar Town? Yeah, which one? He kind of came back. He Sam Smith. Um. Well, he yep. recognized what it he was. He recognized it, but yeah. it would have been too late had Bubba been able to set his feet and throw, Bubba Tanner. That was a, I tell you, that was a good call. It was a good call. I mean, it didn't get executed the way the coaches wanted, but that was a good call. All right, third and goal. Ethan from the shotgun. Hand it off to Adriel. Go, Adriel. Get in there, Adriel. Adriel's right. down to about the two, maybe. So now the question becomes you're at fourth down. At the two-yard line, we tried boy. to do mm. – kicking game hasn't been solid thus far either this year. We mm -hmm. missed an extra point even though it had a penalty. And I can see a timeout coming right here. I can too. I see us taking it all the way down. Fourth down. Ball, they got the ball on the two. This is a tough call. This is where you get paid, Coach Carpenter. Do you go for it and get some – or try to get some points to tie the game, or do you go for it and – That's you, exactly what they're doing. They're letting the clock oh run yeah. down. Or do you kick the field goal and make sure that you're uh, within a touchdown of winning this right, game? Right, right. And Cedartown's no slouch. We're going to have a timeout on Dalton. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. I don't know what you do. I'm going to be honest. This is a play I, I'm going to say – 54 years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red.
Right back with you here at Harmon Field. 58 seconds to go before halftime. Looks like Dalton, gonna... fourth and go. We're going to attempt to uh, kick the field goal, which cut it to 14-9 if it's good. Adrian Gongora, number 20, your kicker. He Asher need... Infro, your holder. Sorry, he needs to have some confidence here and just drive that thing. We know he can kick it. He's just lacked some confidence lately. We have got timeout on Cedartown. They're going to ice the kicker. <laughs> Second quarter, we're going to ice Adrian. All right, 58.5 seconds. Again, we'll be back with you at Harmon Field. Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No, son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know. We can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally-owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go, Catamounts! Here we are at Harmon Field, getting ready to attempt a field goal. This would cut it to five points as Dalton trails 14 to six. Adrian Gangora, this will be a 19-yard field goal as Asher is gonna be holding it on the nine-yard line. Oh, he's open. Yes! Touchdown, Adrian. Oh, yes! 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 Why is that not a flag? He crossed the goal line. That's okay. That happens. Yes. They do it all the time. Touchdown, Dalton! Yeah, baby! What Woo. a great call right there by Coach Long and Coach Beautiful. Carpenter. That's brave. Who's sitting here thinking, take the points. But yeah. our, our kicking game's a little shaky. He needs a little confidence. And here we go. Fake field goal. Touchdown, We Dalton. just talked about it we during did. the break. Y'all didn't hear us, but we just said, what if? And then, bam, 14 to 12. Brandon hurt us. 14 to 12. Two-point conversion here. Oh. I, th I think you take the two-point conversion here. Oh, I'm just. I think you take the two. Uh, you go, at the end of the day. I can't watch. <laughs> maybe you take it later. You know, maybe you take it later. You don't want to put your pressure up, but, but we're you doing know what? it. So here we if are. If you're going to have a kicker to do it, do it with somebody that's got the wheels yep. of Adrian Gondora. I mean, Adrian's a running back. Yeah, he He's is. A running back, he just happens so. to kick. 14 to 12, Dalton. 51 seconds to go before halftime. Dalton's going for a two point conversion. Get in there, Ethan. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Oh, we've missed the two point conversion, so it makes it 14 to 12. So, out of all of that, Dalton gets six, but we've cut it to two. So, we've had two opportunities trying to go for twos, and, and it just ain't working. That's uh, four points Dalton has left on the field. So that'd be, I mean, you know, ifs and buts, but uh, well, that's I mean, four points, points we've left on the field. Two points. Well, we went two for. We went for two, but if you kick the field goal, then you're two points. So that's just my, my math, not your math, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, four points if we convert the two-point conversions, yes. Turning the ball over down here inside the 10. Yep. Throwing the pick right down here to one yard line. Yeah. I hope it's just second quarter, so maybe we can. Uh, but it, okay. but that's going to happen, you know. That's going to happen. Yeah, and we talked about they kind of controlled the line of scrimmage. But yes, Dalton yes. has had the more opportunities uh -huh. to take advantage of this game. They are winning the f uh, time of possession by a country mile, but we have made some of our opportunities, and then we've given up some of our opportunities. Yeah, I mean, we've got some very good skill players, which we knew about. Yes. The beef up the middle, is it's, you know, we're getting there. Those guys are getting really strong, and Peyton Starling and um, Striker. Riley Souther, Striker Woods, I mean, they're really strong kids, but Cedartown's just got some beef on them, and it's been, like you said, it's not some the defensive line we've seen before. Mm -hmm. Dalton, good news, Dalton will be kicking off from their own 40 as opposed to the 25. So we got Manny Munoz, 95, getting ready to uh, tee it up for Dalton. Back deep to receive for Cedartown. Number 27, we've seen a lot of Tay Harris. Oh, well, oh I'm not sure wow. what that was. Wow. 
Well, Cedartown will take over on their own 35. No, they're going to take it where the ball went out of bounds. I thought it went to the 30. Uh, I mean, unless I'm mistaken, I could okay. be wrong. Mandy well, contrary I'll, to popular opinion, I've been wrong before. I think it goes where you where the ball goes out of bounds if it's beyond the 35. Okay, okay. So if it didn't even make it to the 35, then you get it there. And it looked like, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be an onside kick. <laughs> don't well, exactly no. The jury is out on that one. Okay, Cedartown will take over. Once again, Take be able to take advantage of another Dalton miscue. And you uh, get five yards. Really? It looked like it. Okay, I missed that memo. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the penalty. Um, wow. So, yeah, okay. you definitely didn't want to give that to them if you're Dalton. So now your defense has to definitely, you know, stand up here. they got 51 seconds. They've got one timeout left, but they don't really have a passing game. Doesn't mean they can't well, throw the it, they, so I don't want to. The way they can run it. Jinx it, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day. The way 33 and 27 has ran. All right, Ledbetter going to roll out of the pocket. He's looking for somebody to get open, and Dalton is going to take him down around the 45-yard line in that neighborhood. Second down, 40 seconds left to go before halftime. Yeah, that's the good thing about what Cedartown has to offer is they just don't really have a dynamic passing game. Dalton with a four-man defensive front, led better with the ball. Going to roll out, going to throw it out here, number eight. That's going to be a first down and out of bounds. That's exactly what they wanted, number eight, Demarcus Gardner, because they can easily get down into field goal territory. Yeah, we've not saw. We've yeah, not. we saw their guy on PATs. I didn't see him yeah. during warm-ups. I haven't seen him kick a field goal. Their PATs get up real quick, and, mm -hmm. you know, they, they're good kicks. But how much leg does he have, I couldn't tell you. Uh, Cedartown down to the Dalton 31. That's where you need a good pass rush. Led better your quarterback. Going to roll out over here to his right. Going to throw one out here intended. Woo! Again, number eight, Demarcus Gardner. Careful, no, Dalton. Don't get any laundry on you. Now they're definitely getting into field goal range, so. Yeah, they're getting into my field goal territory range here. Here I am talking about passing game. They haven't thrown the ball, and they've done two really good passes. They heard you, brother. They heard you. I mean, we've got to get some pressure. We've got to get some, some blitzers back there. 13.7 seconds left to go from Harmon Field. Game five, Dalton is trailing 14 to 12. Cedartown is looking to put some points on the board right before halftime. Well, they don't have a lot of time, so let's see what goes. They got nine seconds on the play clock. They're acting like they called a timeout. One, better. okay, they're just getting lined up for a field goal. That's exactly what's going to happen here. Yep. He's just getting to the center of the field. Timeout, Cedartown. That's their final timeout of the half. 8.5 seconds left. We'll be back to Herman. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Here we are back with you at Harmon Field. Okay, they... Cedartown changed their alignment. They had looked like they were going to be going for a field goal. Now, they're going to try for one final play, possibly two, two plays. They... That's a good... He caught it. He caught it. R.J. Story on the coverage. That was a good play by number nine. Is that eight or nine? I don't know, but I'm just perplexed. Why would you go for the... Why would you go to the middle of the field and kneel it and Ed, then throw a pass? Edgar Martinez. I do not have a clue. Like, that That perplexes me to no end. Good play for them, I yeah. guess. It called us off guard, and R.J. just kind of got lost in the shuffle thinking, mm -hmm. like, I'm thinking, what are you doing? Like, why are we... Yeah. That made no sense to me, period. End of story. Why go mill, kneel in the middle of the field and then throw a pass? But they but did, it, and they but, got a touchdown. But it worked. Worked to perfection. perfection. I can't be mad at it, but no. I can. 
Good kick. Cedartown has took a 21 to 12 lead on a great play there to end the first half. Well, one second. I beg your pardon, one second. We'll give a chance to run the ball. We'll be back. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! 54 years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped, helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Right back with you here at Harmon Field. We have one whole second to go before halftime. Uh, Dalton's got all their up back guys up. Nobody really back deep, but after what we just saw, don't blame them. Who knows what will happen here. <laughs> so I'm perplexed. Uh, there's a kick. That's going to be a deep one there. And time will we'll be going to halftime, 21 to 12. That's Bubba Tanner. Bubba Tanner is juking and jiving. Bubba is going to be ticked down around the 20 yard line, 19, 20. And that is going to bring us to halftime as Dalton will trail 21 to 12 going into the half. Folks, we'll be right back with you at the start of the third quarter. The 22 football season is here and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck teams and go dogs! Woo! 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! The showstopper feature solos are Caitlin Mulsey, Jasper Baldwin, Isaiah Kendall, Elizabeth Gonzalez Perez. Our samurai is played by Dominic Durbin, and the maiden is Macy Dugan, and the ninja is Mason Sheepwood. Drum major Kimber Barron, is your band ready? We hope you enjoy the Cedar Town High School Bulldog Band.
Superintendent Dr. Tim Scott, Principal Dr. Lee Collins, and Director of Bands Jenna Pye, please welcome to the field for your halftime entertainment the 2023 edition of the Dalton High School Catamount Marching Band. Tonight, the band invites you to join us on a journey of sight and sound aboard the Catamount Express. Our first stop is in New York for Duke Ellington's classic Take the A Train. We bring things closer to home for our next stop at the Chattanooga Choo Choo, made famous by Glenn Miller. Our next leg brings us back to Georgia with Gladys Knight's blues classic, Midnight Train to Georgia. Our journey then takes us to the percussion feature with Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. And we bring our trek back into the station with the Doobie Brothers' long train running and the closing of a Dalton band favorite, Casey Jones. Our conductors this evening are drum majors, Katie Espedia, Angie Arredondo, and Emily Torres. Drum majors, are we ready to board?
Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 edition of the Dalton Turnout Marching Band. As you exit the train, please watch your step and be sure to thank our 2023 corporate sponsors, Weems Engineering, Lauter & Jones, Engineered Floors, EPC Transport, Beanie Lauter, A to Z Mobile Blasting, Wrights Pediatrics, Precise Inspections, and Southern Customs. Thank you again for joining us tonight aboard the Catamount Express. Florida Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Port of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go Catamounts! If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At ColdwellBanker.com you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us. And go big red. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go Catamounts! Hey Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know, we can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging. Your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Have you been told it's going to take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. Back at Harmon Field, game five with the Cedartown Bulldogs. Cedartown with an advantage over our Catamounts, 21 to 12. Before I go any further, let's again remind every one of our corporate sponsors for making this broadcast possible. 
Adcock Financial Group, Associates of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Bear Paper Tube, Biltwell Bank, Carpets of Dalton, Kaler Industrial Sales, Coel Banker, Kennard Realty, Direct Packaging, Duncan Tree Services, Engineered Floors, Fort of Dalton, Jefferson's Open Late After Every Home Game, Hamilton Medical Center, Helton Tire, Longhorn Steakhouse, Oakwood Cafe, Pete's Care, Transformers Transmission and Complete Auto Repair, the Dalton Quarterback Club and Brandon Brown Productions. Well, Curtis, my friend, let's hope that this third quarter is a lot nicer than uh, the first quarter ended and the second quarter was. Yeah, I mean, we've got to settle down. We've, we've done a lot of, um, we've done a lot of, you know, harm to ourselves and shot ourselves in the foot several times. We've made some boneheaded plays, some things that we probably just uncharacteristically do. Get that ball right there, Dalton. Ball. Ball's on the ground. Dalton's, Dalton's, got got it. It. Dalton's got it. Dalton's got it. Dalton's got it. Dalton's got it. Yes, 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 yes. No, Dalton's they're giving it. it. You can give it to Cedar. About okay. Okay. He was pointing Cedar Town. Now he's changed. You his better believe it because it was on the ground and RJ recovered it. The big red got him a break. To There's the break we needed. We were talking about as well. It's going to kind of get into. We just had a real weird, real weird with rhythm. Yeah. Hard to say there. Easy um, for you though. And <laughs> and. We just didn't have the breaks. We were just in our own way. Well, yeah, I mean, Center Town's a really big physical team, yep. and we knew that. But yep. we've got the skilled players, and I thought we had a lot of opportunities we let slip away. Yep. So now we have another opportunity. we got to make sure we count on them. Exactly. Dalton with three receivers at the top, one to the bottom. Adriel Hernandez with the ball. Adriel is going to not have much forward progress. Okay. Well, we're going to throw a flag. Here we go again. Replays of the first half. Let's see as yes, the yellow flag has come out. This one might be going against Cedar Town as Michael Nguyen is clapping pretty with a lot of emotion. Let's see what's going on. Striker Woods. Striker thinks. Kendricks is pointing to Cedar Town. This one may be going against the dogs. Let's see. What? To me, this again is why you have to keep your composure. I didn't see anything happen In other than the flag moments. be thrown. Sure, it was something verbal. All right, where's the ball spotted? Personal foul against Cedar Town. They are not giving RJ a very good spot. But Okay, there we go. Uh, no, it wasn't RJ, it was Adriel. But anyway, we got because the officials are going to, like, we, we kind of saw it. Cedar Town just keeps, they were just kind of grinding, and they kept after the whistle, and it, it kind of got ugly there, and Dalton just kind of lost their composure. Mm -hmm. And if you just let the game play, keep your composure, let the officials see who the aggressor is, I think you can get the call. Right out the storm. First and 10, Dalton from the Cedar Town. 13, maybe? 13. Oh, we're going to call it that anyway. 13-yard line is Dalton has three receivers at the top, one at the bottom. Ethan's going to roll out of the pocket looking for somebody. Ethan's going to throw it to a wide open RJ story. Oh, my goodness. Looks like he fumbled. Please tell me no. Please tell me Looks no. Like Cedar Town. Oh, I don't know. Bannon thinks we got it. Cedar Town thinks they I have think it. I think Cedar Town's got, got it. it. Cedar Town's got it. So let's see if a replay on this. Oh, really good play again. Again, just shooting right, right around the goal line. We did this first half. Uh, here, okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Okay, right there. Balls no, the ball's down. on the ground right yeah, there. Ball's, ball's on down. the ground right there. Yep. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Cedar Town on the one again is exactly how How the, many? Yeah, yeah. Another turnover with them starting at the one. All we can do here is pray that this defense will keep these guys down here and make them punt. And I, I kind of wanted to hold my tongue a little bit early in the game, but these these little two-yard run, three-yard run, four-yard run, they kind of weigh on you late in the game, and they become 10-yard runs, mm -hmm. six-yard six runs, eight-yard runs. That size will wear you down. Cedar Town again. Dalton, right there, take him down. Don't dance with him. Take him down. There you go. Great job, defense. Great job. I don't know who cleaned that up. Jeff was that, Son was trying to the strip. Did you see that? <laughs> he was. We've been trying to strip the whole night, but I don't know if that was Caleb Staten that came in and cleaned it up, Andy, or uh, Adriel Hernandez. Somebody came in and cleaned that up because the running back almost got away, and then we came in and cleaned yeah, I it thought up. He, I thought he was going to get away because we didn't take him down. Second and nine as there's a gain of one. The ball is on the Cedar Town. It's like the three-yard line. Just started the third quarter. Dalton went down and uh, has fumbled, and Cedar Town has – Took over, but they are deep in their own territory. As we got six, five seconds on the play clock, down to three, two. They got it off in time. Dalton has done a great job. Take him down. Yep, don't let him. Don't him tackle him high. Take him down. Yeah. All righty. I'm going to have third down. It's, it's just trying to strip that ball out, which we mm -hmm. got one in the first half. 
But they're uh, but they're, they're strong. They don't end. they don't cough it up much. They're strong. They don't, and they're deep in their end zone. You'd rather have the yardage than the ball. I mean, of course we don't the ball, but you know what I'm saying. The strip, uh, or the attempt at a strip, and then give them the first down. That's what I'm trying to say. Curtis, this is huge, my friend. Third and five for Cedartown as they are up to their own seven yard line. At 33 keeps uh, Jules Davis. He looks like he's going to take off, then he freezes. Third and five. There he goes again. Hand up. Get right there, right there, right there, right there. Take him down. Great job. Great job. Great job. Good job on that Dalton defense. Much different. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed because the first half, if you remember, when we turned the ball over in the one-yard line, we gave them the first down and let them get a little deeper. Good job, Red. Now they've got to kick the ball out of their end zone. We should have really good field position. A little bit of what we had to go through in that first half. We got Bubba Tanner back to receive for Dalton with any, 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 any kind of decent return. Bubba should put Dalton in fantastic field position, but crazy things can happen on specialty teams play. Exactly. Well, we just saw one oh, on, the, on the kickoff. Got that right. Ooh, a bad snap would be great. Yeah, one over the head. Put it through the goalpost. I don't care. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. We got flat, oh, delay, a delay a game. Well, that's going to take it back to the one because it's on the six. Well, they'll go half, I think, right? Is it? Yeah, I think I just do. figured if. Unless they just count it off. Let me see. I just thought it was five yards. I think you're right. Halfway. You're right, Curtis. Take it back to the three. It goes back any further. He's going to be punting from Dalton's locker room. I don't, I don't know what the communication was there, but he kind of walked up, and then the clock went zero. All right, Drew Ledbetter is their normal punter. He's back in, number one. Bubba, let's fill this cleanly, and let's get a return. Okay. Uh, Bubba's not going to – ball – he got him out of the hole. Ball is up to the 47-yard line where Dalton will take over barely inside Cedartown's territory. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. We're proud to be the only President's Award winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by Dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America and Ford of Dalton is built for you. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Built Well Bank. Back here at Harmon Field as Dalton will take over first and 10 from the Cedartown 47-yard line. We're still early in the third quarter, 8.57. Cedartown is up 21-12. to 12. We've got an old traditional cat and dog fight here. Bannon Phelan and Jeff Sonlock both going in motion. Jeff Son is your H-back. Ethan's going to hand this one off to Adriel. Adriel is looking for some room, and he's not going to get any forward progress as Cedartown never did get him down, but... Uh, Maybe he got back to the line of scrimmage originally. Yeah, I, think I don't he got know. Right back to the line of scrimmage. He tried to cut back and see your town. I thought there was actually more room out further on the perimeter, but, but he cut back you know, behind his blocks and no gain. Second and ten. Cedar Town had a, did a good job of staying at home. And I tell you, Curtis, another thing: this time of the year, teams have got some good game film on you now, so yeah. they know what we're going to do with Adriel and our skill guys. So and, and Cedar Town's a really well coached team. You're so. kidding? Well, they're Cedar Town. That's all you need to know. They're Cedar Town. Okay. Ethan drops back in the pocket. Ethan's looking to throw. Ethan's got our, uh, Kendrick's London. Number eight. Number eight has picked off Ethan. And I'll get you a name in just a minute. Number eight has picked off Ethan. And number eight is Demarcus Gardner. We've called his name before. Cedar Town. Another Dalton miscue is going to give Cedar Town the ball right back. That's three or four turnovers we've had tonight. Yeah, Dalton's just shooting themselves in the foot. I mean, that's like a punt, but on first and ten, you don't really want to punt. So, Cedar Town will take over first and ten from their own 25-yard line. Yeah, uh, offensively, we've come out and had two really good opportunities and, and have squandered them at this point. We've got to settle down offensively. Yep. Offense is definitely misfiring. And credit to Cedar Town for that. They're a really good defensive team, as you can tell, and it's tough to, to strike against them. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. There's that up the middle. Oh, it. boy. There's that physicality, that offensive line, physical running backs. It's going to be second and short. Yeah, I'd like to – I need to watch the replay on how they're getting our linemen out of the middle. Second and two as uh, 33. 
which is Jules Davis. Boy, we've caught his name a lot. Yeah, they're clearing our middle out pretty good. They are. Line. They are. They're moving us. Second and two. As Ledbetter is going to drop back on a throw one out here. Hope he don't catch that. Good Ooh, play. Great defensive play by that was great Bubba, by Bubba Tanner. Tanner. Number 27 for Cedartown is Tay Harris. And I am I hear Boo Bird, clueless. I don't know why we're ineligible doing. man downfield for Cedartown. Oh, I thought they, okay, I think they thought maybe it was a. Dalton declines the penalty. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's what they were showing initially. Is that what we're no, doing? They're, going, they're marking it off. Well, uh, I think they get back to the line of scrimmage. All right, we'll Let's see what see. happens. But I think Bubba did a good job right there of um, maintaining yeah. this. Ineligible man. Second down and. Yeah, we took the penalty. Let me clear this out before I try to make a statement here. But I was going to say that Bubba did a really good job mm -hmm. of, of keeping him, you know, self where he didn't get a pass interference call. He timed that perfectly to kind of get the ball right when the Bubba he get the receiver and the ball got there. When you got the speed he does, you can close. He and he closed. Because they caught us off guard a little bit. He sure did. Dalton again with a four-man defensive front. As Cedartown, as you can tell, is very content to ground and pound, take time off that clock. Yeah, that's a win for Dalton right there. We got an injured Bulldog, I believe, on the play. And one of their linemen, it looks like. It is. Folks, we'll be right back to Harmon Field. been told it's going to take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. us. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Canard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee. We are here to help. Coldwell Banker, Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! Back with you at Harmon Field as Cedartown has it third down. And Dalton defense is going to force a fourth down. Tonight, that's been a, that's been a rare thing to see. As we got Kalen Staten, number 10. Curtis, I'm getting a little bit better with these names. Kalen yep. Staten, number 10, was coming out. Now he's turned. Now he's down. We got a official timeout. Yeah, Kalen's arm looked like he was hurt. Yeah, Kalen's, I don't know what, what would be going on there. 6.35 left to go here before, well, excuse me, in the third quarter. We've already had halftime, haven't we? Yeah. And it looked like he was ready to come out, and the coaches were like, no, go ahead and take a seat there so we can right. talk about it. AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red. Back here with you at Harmon Field as Cedartown appears to be punting as it's fourth and about three to go for the first. Punts have been interesting tonight. Yeah, they have. Okay, there's ooh, nine got back there in a hurry, Cameron. Okay, Bubba's going to pick this one up as there's a lot of black helmets around him. Come on, Bubba. Oh, Bubba's not going to have a chance to get out going too much as Bubba is going to be took down around his own 27-yard line where Dalton will come out first and 10. Let's uh, hope and pray that uh, this is the drive that this Dalton offense can get it going. We're kind of killing ourselves on yeah, offense I here mean, lately. we've moved the ball. We've you know, had some success, and then we've just done some. And if you can move it on that defense, that's a mouthful because this is the best team we've played. 
Biggest team, definitely. Yeah, I definitely see why it was a 13 to 14 game against Rockmart. Them and Rockmart, very, very similar. And what uh, did Calhoun, was it 28 14 or something like that? Calhoun beat these guys 35 21. 35 21. Well, we need mm -hmm. 23 more points. <laughs> yeah. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw it out here to RJ Story. RJ ran his own 35. He went out of bounds. The guy wouldn't let go of his neck. All righty. Yeah. Uh, ball run to 34. Yeah, kind of get back to what we were doing earlier where we had some success. I mean, we got seven, eight yards on that play. Mm -hmm. um, Second and three is gain of seven for RJ. Dalton on their own 34. Cats need to get up to the 37. We stretched it vertical. Now we need to kind of play that cat and mouse game again. Bannon, Phelan, and Kendricks London to the bottom. Fake to Adriel, and Kendricks London, I believe, picked up the first down. He's right at it. I see no flags on the field. First, well, I'm ready to call it. I don't know if they're ready to call it. Yep, the call first down. First down, Dalton. <laughs> it's hard to tell. He's right, there. He's right there at the line, and they didn't know if they wanted a first down or not. I'm looking at the man in the white hat. He hadn't called it. He's looking at the guys on the side. Yeah, because the guy on the, the, the sideline here. Mm-hmm. Got to make sure we don't get a sideline warning. You know how we get those. Don't even bring that up. <laughs> First and 10, Dalton from their own 38. 555, oh, five minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Got Ethan, Ethan has kept the ball. Ethan's up to his 45. Ethan going to go out just shy. He got a first down. No flags. Ethan's going to move the chains. First down, Dalton. Great job, RJ, on the, on the block there. He kept holding block. Ethan showing off his athleticism on that play. And Ethan just doing Ethan. Um, he's he, super athletic. I'll tell you, he's very shifty himself. He is. Very shifty. I mean, he, he's a, he can run. He's not necessarily a running quarterback, but he can be because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's very athletic. Dalton with three receivers at the top, one at the bottom. Bubba Tanner in the backfield with Ethan. First and ten, Dalton. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw one out uh, here to – it was intended for Bubba was the closest. Pass was – Incomplete. That's going to be second and ten. Yeah, a little miscommunication. I think we need to make sure. As you've said many times, Curtis, I love it when we get yards on that first down. It takes pressure off it, second and long. It does. You stay ahead of the chains. And you try to take a shot there and, and a little miscommunication. But now I don't. you don't want to go third and ten against these guys. No. No. I'd better not go first and ten against them. But <laughs> if you're going to have to go ten, make it on first. Second and ten, Dalton from their own 49. Dalton with two receivers at the top. Jeff Sonlock is your H back. Is that Adriel in the backfield with Ethan? Uh, Where's Bubba. that Bubba? That's Bubba. Bubba with the ball. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Bubba's cross midfield a little bit. Yeah. Bubba got to the 49 and three quarter. Wow. And. Wow. The, the whistle blew well beyond it. And well, and that's comes off. kind of been the case all night. Yeah. Again. No. Right. Well, well, you know, when the ones in charge ain't going to do anything to stop it. They're not going to stop Why it stop themselves. It? Exactly. Yeah. Why Cedar Town's not going to stop it. I mean, you, you play through the whistle, but once the whistle sounds, if you start throwing people down, I think you've got to make that Well, <laughs> you should, yeah. Call. You should. 38, Dalton from the Cedar Town 49. They need to get down to the 41. All right. Yeah, we've got a, a drive that's kind of stalled here. We definitely don't need to call timeout, so if we can get the play in, we need to get the play in. I think we're calling timeout. I'm telling here. you, we, we're getting our chances. We just uh, – Yep, calling timeout. Our offense here. is misfiring as there is going to be a timeout on Dalton. 3.59 left to go in the third. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Vidlink brings the roar of the track to you. Start your engines. The race is on. Be there for all the action at home with Vidlink. You can restart and replay content, watch HD movies, sports, and local channels, all from your television, computer, or smartphone. Backed by local customer service. No contracts. So keep the good times rolling. It's the all-in-one streaming app from OptiLink that gives you the ultimate view. It's a winner. Get VidLink today. Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for home. 54 years. How do we get here? 
it's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped, helped so, so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Here we are back with you at Harmon Field, third down and eight, <clears throat> excuse me, third down and eight for Dalton from the Cedartown 49. Cats need to get down to the 41. Dalton desperately needs to convert this as we are down by nine points. Ethan's with plenty of time, plenty of protection, and our oh, wow. receivers. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Sir. I mean, yes. I, think, I think if the Cedartown player doesn't hold the jersey, right. he doesn't get the call. But he went right, right through Adriel, and it was a pass interference because you grabbed. If you don't grab and just bat the ball down, then it's yeah. not. But yeah, I think that's a good call. When you grab, it does it. Yep. Six appears to have an injured leg, calf, or something. Yeah, he's, he, he's got something straightened out. Interference against Cedartown. There's the replay. And there you go. Except when he grabs him. <laughs> are we on break? We are not on break. All right. I'm trying to sort this out. I think we got a Cedar Town player who's gotten cramps. It looks like. All right, like. good. He's up. Number six is Riante Porter. For the that will be so first and ten, it. Dalton from the Cedar Town thirty-four. Yeah, we got a break there. I will say that, um, but Dalton also gets somewhat of a timeout here because exactly, of the injury. So exactly. That helps your offense kind of reset and regroup. You got a first set of downs and kind of a new set of plays getting thrown in here. I think by Coach Long. I was going to say I was talking to Coach Long last week, um, and. He was talking about Ethan, and he just said, as a young kid, he's just been a very good, poised quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's very accurate, always been very accurate, loves the position. And so it's good to have Ethan back there because he, he truly does love being a quarterback. Very good at it, too. Very good at it. All right, first and 10, Dalton from the Cedar Town, 34, 35, 34 and a half yard line. All right, Dalton's going to hand this one off to – no, 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 no. I did not hand it off to Adriel. Ethan's going to throw it out here to wide, wide open. open. Kendrick's London. Oh. Kendrick slid inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal. First and goal, Dalton. As we have a 13, we got a late flag. What are we going to call here? All right, let's see what happened. The way this night's going, who knows? I think we got a catch because it was well after the play. So let's see what they're calling. Um, unfortunately for Kendricks, he couldn't quite get his foot. He slipped out from under him and went out of bounds. It's like he hit ice over on that sideline. I'll be honest. Illegal participation called against Cedartown. That's going to be a uh, first and goal for Dalton. Illegal as the big red, as the big red has got the ball, illegal down to the Cedar Town five or four five yard line. First and goal. All right. That means what? Twelve men on the field. We've been here before. Uh, wouldn't that be just legal participation? Uh, well, I'm be honest. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> go out and come back in. Maybe. He cut through it in the middle of the field, which is what yeah. I'm just trying. Been that kind of night, though. All right, Ethan with the ball. Going to hand it off to Adriel. Adriel, get in there, Adriel. Get Touchdown, in there, Adriel. Dalton. Get in there, Adriel. Touchdown, Dalton. Yes. It's 21 to 18. The Big Red has got six more on the board. Now I'm thinking about those two-point conversions we've missed. Yeah. I mean, it comes down to Little, that. Littles and, and that. Interception we threw in the first quarter down here at the one. Yep. That turnover we had, but you know that, that's football. You got to put that stuff behind you. you and Dalton's you. done that. Next play. Take advantage of what you get. This yeah. this extra point would put us within two. I'm gonna say yeah. I mean we just gotta move on. Doesn't matter. Make this pull, this extra point. That's it. Yes, sir. Kick is up and good. 21 to 19 at Harmon Field. We'll be right back to Harmon. 
Hi, I'm Charles R. Hicks Sr. And I'm Chris Hicks. And we're the Transformers crew. With over 40 years of experience from brakes, AC tune-ups, oil changes, and custom rebuilt transmissions, Transformers is your number one automotive repair source. We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility conveniently located here on Sugar Road, and we also offer financing for those unexpected repair needs. So come and check out the real professionals because we are Transformers. Transformers Transmission and Complete All Repair Specialist. Every community has its challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Here we are back with you at Harmon Field. 332 left to go here in the third. Cedartown 21, Dalton 19. Dalton has used one of their timeouts. Is number 20, Adrian Gongora, set to kick off. There's the short kick, and this one's going to be fielded by number three, I think, one of the upback men, and take him down. Those guys can get several yards falling. Okay, number three for Cedartown is uh, Taji Neal. I might be slaughtering, and I apologize, I'm slaughtering his first name. T-A-I-D-J-I, -I, Taiji Neal. So Cedar Tan will come out first and 10 from their own 36. Yeah, I mean, Dalton. Seven, something? Something like that, seven. Eight. Six. There you go, eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, Dalton's got the momentum. we got to keep the momentum here. Right, right. We've done a better job of controlling line of scrimmage, especially on defense. 33 and 27 has gave us some fits. Five has also gave us some fits. Those are some good ball players. They're all good ball players. I think several of them are juniors too. And that's 27. That's uh, Tay Harris. Yeah, Tay Harris. Harris is going to get a lot on first down. He's going to get about seven. Yeah, I mean, that's that. Oh, he got a, maybe mm, some cramping. Yeah, don't want to see him get hurt. Uh, Gonna be second and three. Yeah, yeah twenty seven is Tay Harris. And that's a that's a really good looking running back, I'll yeah. tell you that. Yeah, he is. He's a big boy. I tell you what, thirty three is a good back too. Thirty three is Jules Davis, he's good too. And then uh number five, Isaiah Johnson's your big bruiser. Gonna be Ledbetter's gonna throw one out here. Running uh Oh, we're going to call it. They got him. He <laughs> yeah. got it. Was that RJ? It was RJ. 13, RJ story. We got pass interference on Dalton. Yeah, RJ was kind of beat there and grabbed a little bit. I almost didn't think they were going to throw it, but they came back and threw what it. What receiver so. is that? I'm trying to get a number there. Uh, number eight. 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 Eight is Demarcus Gardner. Called his name a few times tonight. So that'll be penalty against the Big Red. Yeah, we've got to control right here. We've got to, we've got to get our composure. Can't say it enough. Man, that's a lot of yardage. Um, Ball is down to the 40. First and 10, Cedartown. Dalton needs another turnover right here. We've cut it within two. Come on, defense. Offense has got you within two. Harris with the ball. Not much going on. Woo. There goes another. 54 for Cedartown. And Number five. We've got another... Uh, was that Number the one? five is Isaiah Johnson. That's the big physical back. Was that the one that was cramping We've on the We've got a timeout on the field. We'll be right back to Harmon. Uh if you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At ColdwellBanker.com, you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go Catamounts! Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally-owned community bank can do for you. Built Well Bank. 
Hey dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know, we can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Here we are with you back at Harmon Field as Cedar Town has it second and eight from the Dalton 38. Bulldogs need to get down to the 30. Drew Ledbetter with the ball. We got flags on the play. This might be five yards against Cedar Town. It is. Second and eight became second and 13. Yeah, that's not what Cedar Town wants. Although at the end of the half, they showed us a little bit that they do have a passing game. Yes. And they scored a very quick touchdown after a Dalton kick that went out of bounds. That'll move the ball back to the 43. Second and 13, 214 left to go here in the third quarter. Led better from the shotgun. Led better going to run out of the pocket and he's got an open receiver, number eight. Big gang's going to be third and short as number one Bubba Tanner on the tackle. Number eight, Demarcus Gardner. That is definitely like what they like to do with him, roll out. But I will say that touchdown pass at the end of the half, that was just a step back, mm -hmm. really pretty pass that mm -hmm. he made over R.J. Story. But this sets them up for where they want to be, right. third and two right. on their side of the field. I pretty much this is sure four down, this four is four-down territory. Down territory. Mm -hmm. You don't get it here, you go it again. Especially with what all the weapons they have to use. Plenty of time on the play clock. Game clock is down to 156. Led better with the ball, going to hand it off to the five. That's a first down, I'm guessing. We're ripping the ball out, I tell you. Yeah, we're tackling the ball, and he'd be taking those legs. Yeah, that's going to be a first down, and that's going to move the chains. Adriel was trying to get that ball out, and it was not coming out. They are strong. Yeah, the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. They're stingy with that ball. They're not going to give it up. That number five. Uh, Isaiah Johnson, I've got his name memorized. All right, Dalton. Got to bow up a little bit here. All right, Cedartown down to the Dalton 28 where it's first and 10. Bulldogs are driving the ball here on Dalton. I can just about script this. Yeah. <laughs> it's either going to be a handoff to the five up the middle. I'm thinking 33 is going to run back behind the uh, back, and then he's going to stop and oh, look at the sidelines. Yep. And there's a big gang in the making. Dalton's going to have to get that corner. 27, Tay Harris. First down. Uh-huh. Going to move the chains again. Cedar Town's dry. Dalton defense is going to have to come up with something quick. Clock is down to one. We do not need to go down I mean, by six more. We cut it within two. Yeah, it's come down to those two extra points that we tried to. The two-point conversions and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the touchdown there in the first quarter we didn't get. That stuff will come back and haunt you in a close game between two pretty, pretty even teams. Yeah, we're pretty even. Was that, Number I think, five? five? Yep. That's the big back. They are very strong on that offensive line. Got about five yards on that play. Ball is down to the Dalton 12, 13-yard line. Catamounts are running out of real estate. Yeah, we need to stop this now. That's second down in about four and a half. That clock is running with them running the ball like this. A scoop and score would be nice. And they're going to look to the sideline. There we go. Let's kind of do some prophecy. A scoop and score. Uh, yeah, I, I'm with you. How about five up the middle? Come on, fumble. Come on. Come on, fumble. Drop it. Looks like they got another first down. So now they're first and goal from the six. That big size and that offensive line starts to wear you down. After a while, it's going to be first and goal. Cedar Town's going to be happy to go to fourth quarter. You ain't a kidding. And that's exactly what they're going to do is they have already left the field. 18 seconds. We'll be right back to start the fourth quarter, folks. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. 
Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Taylor Industrial Sales After Hours Service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. Back here with you to start the fourth quarter. First and goal, Cedartown from the Dalton six-yard line. He is in. He is in. That is six more for Cedartown as we have got a 27-19 game. I was kind of hoping... I was kind of hoping we'd had like the rock mark moment we were talking about during the break where we just, we got, did the same thing, transitioned to the second quarter and just couldn't get it in, but that didn't happen for Dalton. I almost said, I wish we would get a kickoff return all the way for a touchdown, but I don't think, don't think that would be good because that defense has been on the field a long time and they need some rest. Yeah, that, that would put them, on, that'd put them right back on the field immediately. That's going to be 28 to 19, Cedartown. 11.52 left to go in the ball game. That big offensive line just starts weighing on you. Yes, it does. Curtis, the tradition of Dalton and Cedartown, we were getting some stats before the game started. Dalton leads the all-time series with Cedartown. Dalton leads it 17 to 16 with four ties. Uh, Dalton comes into this game, of course, 4-0. Dalton beat North Murray 35 to 14, beat Sonoraville 50 to 14, beat Rockmark 21 to 14. You see a pattern here. Mm -hmm. And then last week beat Cass, excuse me, Lassiter 56 to 20. So uh, except for Lassiter, Dalton's been giving up 14 tonight so far. We've given up uh, 28, 11, 52 left to go in the ball game. Long tradition between Dalton and Cedartown. These two have put on some classics in the past, and we are hoping for one more big red comeback. But yep. it's not going to be easy when you're playing a team from Cedartown. We had a t uh, player down on the field over there, Brandon Palin. Where at? We on the uh, oh, oh, I see him. I see him. I don't know what happened. Glad he got up. I didn't kind of notice it down there. I saw Cedartown taking a knee, and I was like, I wonder what's going on. Well, we dug ourselves a hole, LD. Um, now the question is, do you have the gut? When to you, make it happen. When you dug yourself in a hole, throw away the shovel and quit digging. You, you got to. We've we've had tons of opportunities. Let's hope this isn't a game of opportunities because we've had the opportunities to score. We were kind of calculating it. Honestly, it should be in about 21, 28 to 7. If you don't turn the ball over at the one, we got the ball back. But then we just had some miscues. And, and don't forget, we're playing without one of our best defensive backs, Andy Atagano. Yeah. And then, I mean, they scored, I think, about 14 legitimate points. Cedartown with the kickoff, and that ball's going to be going out of bounds as a uh, lower section of the band was the closest receiver on that. So Dalton will get the ball on, I'm guessing, 35. Plus, yeah, yep, should be about the 35, I would think. So Ethan will bring the offense out, first and 10 from their own 35-yard line. This is a very... Very, 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 very important drive as we're down by nine points with 11.52 left to go in the ball game. Yeah, you got to an answer here if you're Dalton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you do something that takes a lot of time off the clock, you better score because yeah, the you... clock right now uh, can start becoming our worst enemy. And as good as Cedartown can control the ball. We're going to make them re-kick. Okay. 
Back them up five yards and kick it again. I bet they won't kick it short, though. Got Adrian and Gora coming in. Got uh, Kalem was going to come in. Now he's come back out. Yeah, Adrian, I think, for the up back. They do one of those short kicks, I guess. We've kind of been doing a fair catch on those. I've never seen a game where kickoffs and punts were more interesting to watch than tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My cup got eleven. I did, I did the same thing because we saw him running on late. Somebody didn't get a memo here. <laughs> like, let's not give it back to him. Uh, okay, that text was to me. Oh yeah, get on the field. Yeah, we need to push up a little bit. We definitely don't want an onside kick because we were five yards too deep. I think it's a good decision by Dalton. I just hope it works out for us, but. Uh, you know, we've got really dangerous kick returners. We do. We do. And in just a minute, the, the before hope the game's is, over, I'll get us a name on that kicker. The hope is you get a good return better than the 35. That's Adriel. Adriel with the ball. Boy, 13 came down as a missile. And it did not happen that way. So at that moment, you get the, you take the chance, but it didn't work out. We get the ball at the 29-yard line. So Dalton's got the ball starting at the 29-yard line. And like we talked about, we really need a good offensive possession here. 84, their kicker, Edgar Bermudez. Bermudez with a Z. As you said, Dalton, first and 10 from their own 29. 28 to 19, Cedartown, 11.45 left to go in the ball game. Game five from Harmon Field. Region play starts next week with the Hiram Hornets coming into Harmon. But we got bigger fish to fry right now as we need to get past Cedartown here. Ethan in the shotgun with Adriel to his right. Two receivers to the top, none to the bottom. Going to hand this one off to Adriel. Come on, 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 Adriel. Well, we got one or two. Got one or two out of that. And they did a good job because mm -hmm. they had a lineman in the backfield. They did. I mean, they're playing like a cover two um, over the top and a three down lineman defense. They're giving Adriel, like I said, they're giving Adriel two. Ball is up to the 31 of Dalton. Dalton is get to the 39. So we got eight yards. You really want to get more than that on first down, but two is better than losing two. Two is better because he almost lost two for sure. So uh, we look a little slight confused on this play. We got eight seconds, so better figure it out. Uh oh, we're gonna have we to burn a timeout. Time we got to burn a timeout. Timeout, Dalton. 10:58 left to go in the ball game as the Big Red has to burn a timeout. That'll be our second timeout of the, the half, so. Now we'll be right back to Harmon Field. Twenty twenty two football season's here and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go Catamounts! Right back with you at Harmon Field as Dalton has it second and eight on their own 30 and a half yard line. Three receivers at the top, two to the bottom. Uh -oh. Something need not look right there. Yeah. That right there is a perfect example of this night. Yeah, it's just been a. That's a perfect example. Very off kilter uh -huh. offensive night. Uh huh. Defensively, we put the offense has put our defense in some very strict, tricky situations. I mean, they had a very short field to score their first touchdown. They had a um, very short field to score the third touchdown. I mean, we just shot ourselves in the foot. This is not the kind of team you want to have one of your uh, roughest offensive games against because uh, 
they can make you pay, and they have done that. Yeah, and I think it's just part of it is the pressure they put on you on defense that mm-hmm. you just kind of you, – you're we just a little half-step quick. Yeah, we don't look like we're uh, – A little sugar huddle. Ethan's going to roll out of the pocket. Ethan is looking for – we got a, we got a flag on, on a hold. Yeah. Number five, Kendrick's London does what Kendrick's London does, and that's catch a beautiful pass, but we got holding against Dalton. Who knew? Who would have knew? Yeah, who would have known? Just, well, again, just shooting ourselves in the foot. Right. You cannot beat yourself against a good team. I mean, the official saw it immediately and called it immediately, so. And wouldn't you know, that's the play you have a, you hit uh, Kendrick's London. For about a 40-yard pass. Oh, massive. Wouldn't you know, that'd be the play. I mean, Dalton's got the skill. Um, Dalton's got forever, second and forever to go. Mm-hmm. Not at a time when we needed to be second and forever. Cameron Staten in, RJ Story out, as we got second and uh, more than 18. Yeah, it's more than 18. That's a short Uber. Well, you, Ethan, try, to get, you with, try to get half here. Ethan with Bubba beside him. Single receiver to the top, single receiver to the bottom. Jeff Son is your H back. Ethan, we got, got another a, flag. <laughs> delay a game. I'm Man. telling you, this is a right now. Right now, it's uh, we are fighting so many things right now. We're mentally, we're mentally making lots of mistakes. Bingo, bingo. It has been a mental mistake night, and I think Coach Carpenter and Coach Long and the staff are going to go down, and they're probably going to have a long night, depending on how this outcome is. Right. Even if it, even if Dalton pulls it out, which I don't, you, know, you can, you got plenty oh, of time to do it. Oh, it's definitely possible, but not the way things they're, are going. They're still going to have a night of reflecting and figuring out what went wrong. Ethan with plenty of time. Cameron Staten. Cameron. St- great play by number eight. Yeah, Cameron was right there to make the play. Demarcus Gardner. We've not targeted nine much on passes. No, we haven't. But he was, he was open. It was right. there. Right. Um, strong hands. It's there to make the play. Cameron, if, I think Cameron would say, I need to make that play. They're still very much crowding the line of scrimmage, which is kind of unique. Kind of opening up the, the field for Dalton. I do think they're going to, to come after Ethan, so he's not going to have a lot of time. Ethan in the pocket. Ethan is under pressure. Ethan under duress. He's being chased. Ethan's going to throw this one out of bounds. And it's going to be a fourth down. We're like a V6 engine with the potential to be a V8 clicking on four cylinders. Yeah, we just got a couple of cylinders that are kind of shot. But, boy, when that happens, whoo, Lord. It takes a lot to fix it. Adrian game. Adrian is uh, going to be punting from deep. Yeah, we talked about this a little while ago. This is not a possession we needed this kind Mm-mm. of possession Mm-mm. on. We needed to answer right. Cedar Town. Right. They are not expecting – or they're going to just let him punt it. They don't want any kind of issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10.05 left to go in the ball game. Oh, dear Lord. Roll ball. Ball is going to go out around Dalton's own 37-yard line, so – once again, Cedartown will have fantastic field position. Let me tell you what I'm noticing. We're giving their offense such a short field to work with, it's killing us, and they're scoring on them. Well, what I'm noticing, too, is we our demeanor is we've just kind of – it's like we're just down in the dumps. Yeah, it's like there's a cloud um, hanging over us, and we can't figure out what's going on. Yeah, it's like you're not – like he, he's that's not Adrian Gagoy. No. He usually kicks no. it 40 yards. No. They were giving us 40. Should have got the ball to 50, but – he just kind of missed, kicked it, then he's down in the dump. And it's been so one far, of those nights. We just got to wake up. So it's getting late. At the, at the end, if, if nothing changes, this is the kind of game that you look back at the end of the year and say, you know what, if we would have just showed up that night, you know, who knows what might have happened. But mm-hmm. you keep fighting. You're here in the moment. You keep fighting. You're just down by nine, as bad as things have went wrong. You're just down by nine, and uh, Cedartown's got plenty of weapons to uh, make you pay for anything, any mistake you make. Yeah, they're just 
I guess, really, I guess we've talked about this before. They are playing a cleaner game than Dalton is. Yes, yes, absolutely. They're not beating themselves. They're no. doing a good job of just playing their brand of football and taking what Dalton gives them. I mean, they've had a couple of turnovers. We have not capitalized on, and they have. I right. think we did get a right. touchdown off of the fake field goal. Mm -hmm. That was a turnover. But mm -hmm. We've seen this before. We, they, they do it every play. Okay, mm -hmm. this was twice. I don't know if he's set. Clock will keep running as Cedartown's going to have it third and absolutely one as short as it could be. Yeah, Cedartown's content running this clock right now. Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what you do. They know we're 4-0, and, and they want to be the first team to uh, upset us on this season. Third down and uh, a foot. But well, we talked about it, too, again earlier. These little plays, these little body blows, they, they turn, instead of three yards, they come to eight yards. Yeah. And it's, it's just hard to stop. Right. If you've watched enough football, you kind of realize what's going on. Mm-hmm. That size will eventually take over as perfect example right there. He's gone. Danielson. Wait a minute. Is Andy hurt? No. Uh, maybe. Maybe. That's going to make it 34 to 19. Cedartown now goes up by two scores as Andy Gutierrez has got some kind of, uh, I don't know if it's a leg injury or what, some, some kind of issue going on. Might be a cramp. Might, I don't know. Definitely not going to speculate because – I don't know. Yeah, he went down immediately. So. 849 left to go in the, the ball game. Cedar Town has put up 34 on us. And but again, still looking at Andy. Offense went in the back view. Offense went backwards and then we punt, didn't go so well and deep in our end zone and we just couldn't step up. He's not putting much weight on that leg at all. We've already lost Andy tonight. Early. Boy, Andy, uh, well, both Andys, they play with no, so much heart. They do. Uh, he's putting a little bit of weight on it right now. Cedartown getting ready for the PAT. Number 84, the kicker is Edgar Bermudez. Number one quarterback is also the oh, uh, punter start. and the holder. Jeez. You got to call that. Like, that's about as easy to see as you get. So I don't want to criticize, but I got to on that one. We'll be right back to Harmon. Sorry, brother. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go, Go Taylor Industrial Sales after hours service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. Back here with you to Harmon Field is 84. Got his name memorized now. It's Edgar Bermudez. 8.49 left to go in your ball game. 35-19 Cedartown. It, it's got check time for Dalton right now. Don't know if this is going to be one of those high short ones. Don't have any idea. Here we go. Be a decent kickoff as Bubba Tanner is going to catch it around his own nine. Bubba is going to turn up the sideline here, and Bubba is going to get out around the 25-ish yard line-ish. And Ethan and company will come out first and ten from their own 25-yard line. You need a quick strike. You've got to score within like three strike. minutes, three to four. Cedar Town would be happy with you scoring with two minutes to go or There's a minute. There's a lot of scenarios that Dalton can do. Uh, obviously, we need to have some uh, things to go our way, which has not been the case at all tonight. Uh, but Dalton can definitely get this thing going. We just got to do it fairly quick because now we're down by 15 points. 
Ethan's going to throw it out here to RJ. RJ is out on the perimeter. RJ cuts it upfield and going to get down around the 32-yard line. Second, and uh, it's a good, good game for first down. Yeah, we hit those early. And those, it hit the edges of Cedartown. You do have some success. You've got to make one man miss because they come mm -hmm. running quick. RJ picked up six, so it's second and four. Dalton up to their own 31-yard line. And like you said, they match us athlete for athlete. They do. They've got them. Uh, Kendricks with the ball. And Kendricks is uh, – Kendricks is, I believe, got him a first down. Looks like the first down. Stop I believe clock. that's going to move the chains. It's going to be a first down, Dalton. Uh, yeah, number five, Kendricks on that reception. And – Kendricks picks up enough to move the chains. 36-yard line for Dalton. Ethan in the pocket. Intent. Woo! Did he get it? No. Nope. No, nope, he didn't get no it. Okay. Ball was intended for Jeff Sonlock. A little behind him there. Number three for Cedar Town, Tazi Neal. Neal goes down behind Striker Woods right there. Oh, I didn't know what she was pointing uh -huh. at there. Uh -huh. I mean, he's he got something, twist ankle or something. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Right back here with you at Harmon Field. Dalton, second and 10. As passed to uh, Jeff Son was incomplete. Big Red on their own 36 yard line. Dalton with three receivers at the top. RJ in single coverage to the bottom. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. Oh, Adriel. Ethan drops back. Going to throw it out here to Kendricks. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. All right. London's going to get about three or four on that play as it's going to be third and about seven. And that shows you the, the discipline right there from Cedartown, though. Kenny, you know, he's a very shifty fellow. Right. And he just sat and, and let Kendri Ken Kenny do what he wanted, and then he made the tackle. All right, we got to go. This is obviously four down territory for Dalton. Maybe five or six down territory. I don't know. All right. Ethan with uh, two receivers at the bottom. Adriel in the backfield with right Ethan. There it is. Ethan's got RJ Story. That's a first down. Bounds. Perfect. First down. Perfect play right there by RJ. I'm sorry talking. It kind of comes out as I'm thinking, but he no did a problem. real good job of getting some yardage and then getting out of bounds, stopping the clock. Dalton gets the ball down to Cedar Town's 47. They've crossed midfield now into Cedar Town's territory. Uh, we got 7.03 left to go in the ball game. Game five on this 2023 season. It's a good play by Ethan right there. Cannot believe after tonight the regular season's halfway over. It is. It Does is it get crazy not, it how It gets fast faster it every single year. Or that we're just getting older. I think it's the old age. Or we're just getting more experienced. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> more weathered. Two receivers top. RJ by himself to the bottom. Ethan's rolling out. He's going to throw it out here to Bannon Phelan. Bannon's got some real estate and a great job by number 27, which is Tay Harris. Bannon picked up about three, second and seven. Let's go. <laughs> we don't need officials talking on the field. 6.45 left to go. We need to get play calls in and get yeah. going. Get up, get up, get up. Y'all got 16 points to get in six minutes and 40 seconds. Man, I just cannot quit thinking about all of the opportunities. Ethan going to roll out. He's got it. They're very number. Content. Yep. Oh. 
You've got to call. <laughs> it's right there. It's all right. Whatever it is. He was he was in bounds technically, so we'll go with it. But that hurts because that that is astro turf with concrete under it. I know that had to hurt. All right, he got out of bounds, oh, so the clock stops. First and ten, Dalton from the Cedar Town 31 yard line. And it looks like Cedar Town's content to give those little out routes. So well, sure. If I'm Coach Long, I take those all day long. The clock's their best friend. It's our worst enemy right now. But if you can get out of bounds, it becomes your best friend. Ethan rolls out. He's going to throw it out here intended to Kendrick's London. Good Kenny's play. open. Kenny is going to be down around the 19 yard line. It's going to be enough for a first down and move the chains. That good news is that stops the clock. 6 16 left to go. First and 10, Dalton. You set a dance. It shows you again how strong Ethan's arm is, too. I mean, he whipped that out there. Mm hmm. Marching down the field, hitting the quick outs. Well, if you've seen Ethan throw a baseball, you know he's got a strong arm. He does. I've seen him throw the basketball all the way down the court. That takes a lot to do that. Another injury from Cedar Town. Some more cramping, it looks like. Is that number five again? Nope. 20. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. That is six. 54 years. How do we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that. That is the measure of a man. Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! Once again, back with you at Harmon Field. Dalton has it first and 10 from the Cedar Town 19. Ethan's going to roll out of the pocket. Ethan's going to throw it out here. Pat, Kenny, Kendrick's London was the closest receiver. Pass out of bounds. That'll kill the clock. Second and 10, Dalton. Yeah, they they kind of went over there and made an adjustment, taking away the quick out. So now you've got to make the adjustment. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, our guys look tired. Yeah, it's been a rough game. They're going to be has. sore. It has. I only to come back next week for another physical game against Hiram. Yeah, now the region starts. Now you're talking about gut check time. It is gut check time. Yeah, again, talking to Coach Long, and he was talking about that, that Rockmark game. Our guys were just beat up. Adriel with the ball. Adriel's going to cut it upfield. Adriel's still going. Adriel's down around the 10-yard line. There's no flag, so that's going to be a first down. You're right at it. It's not Maybe a first. Maybe a first and goal. I don't know. It no, like he's, he's short. Yard short. Yeah, he's short. I see the marker over now. Third and short. Third and about third and one. Result of the play is eight. Five forty-six left to go in the game. Dalton's got to Dalton got to realize they're not out of it. We're down sixteen points. We need a touchdown, extra point or two point conversion twice. We get a stop from Cedar Town and we can score quick. But we got to score here. Ethan with three receivers top, two to the bottom. Ethan with the ball is going to throw it out here, intended for R.J. Story. What Goodness a catch. gracious! What a one-handed catch! Cow. Touchdown, Dalton. 526 left to go. RJ Story on the touchdown pass from Ethan Long. Ethan put it exactly where it had to be, and RJ made a beautiful catch. 35 to 25. And as Curtis mentioned, obviously the big red will be going for two. Man, what a catch. I mean, it was like nonchalant too. These are some of the best receivers. We Man, saw, they're good. We saw Andy make a one-handed catch early as an interception, and now RJ makes a one-handed catch. I'm not convinced. Some of these guys need a whole hand. I believe they could catch it with two or three fingers. Dalton's got to have this, though. We've got to have this two-point conversion. Yeah, if, if they don't get this one. it's Yeah, it's going to be really difficult. You keep your, your game alive if you can make this two-point conversion. You don't want to say the uh, – It's over, but it's – Fat lady's getting ready to hard. sing, but uh, she might be clearing her voice if you don't get that. Jeffson Yes, Locke. yes, Jeffson. We got one. It's 35 to 27, 526 left to go in your ball game. The Big Red has cut it to eight. Now that defense is going to have to get them a defensive stand. Not, things, out, not outside of uh, – Things are very interesting at Harmon Field, but 
They'll only stay interesting if we can keep Cedartown from scoring again. If they score again, we are definitely oh. making things hard on ourselves. Yeah, we, if not impossible. I think it's over at that point for sure. But we kick it deep. We we it's not outside of our skill set. We've got the defense to do it. When's the last time we had a touchback? Oh, it's been a while. Again, one of, the, one of those. I'm sorry, Curtis. Dalton, again, playing with, without Andy Otonganen. Yeah. He is a fantastic ball player. Uh, but one of those high kicks that kind of lands in the middle of the field, we got the, the turnover. That can happen one more time. Dalton, I mean, while you want to think, okay, 35-19, you're never out of it. Two touchdowns and two extra points, and we're a tie ball game. Yep. Yep. I agree totally. You, you've got to believe. I mean, what, what, what did Kirby say at halftime? One of the best motivational speakers of all time, one moment at a time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what happens at the, that play, you go to the next one. Mo one moment, at, win your moment, win your moment. Don't let the same mistake beat you two and three times. All right, here goes Adrian. They are expecting an onside kick, and there it is. Oh, my good. We got, we got a all. flag, we got a flag. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, illegal procedure on Dalton of some sort. Okay, right. I'm going to try to act surprised here. We got a little uh, banner. Get on back. We're, we're here. Come on. Careful, Dalton. We know how these calls go. You just hold your composure. You're in it. You're in it. Yeah, don't you do anything that's going to put you out of it. 35 27. All right, they're going to kick from the 40 now, or whatever it was. What do we kick from the? It was the 40, so I'm going to mark it back to the 35. 35. Mm -hmm. See what they do, but I don't know. I keep thinking about Brucey on the longest yard. I, th I think you kick it deep out here. I really do. I think you kick it over his head mm -hmm. and make them play from very deep. Yeah, don't give them a short. Don't give I mean, them a short field. They know. Look, I mean, secrets out. Okay? They think you're onside kicking it. I think you kick it deep here. That's just me. I'm not a coach of any means. So here we go. They got another procedure penalty. I like to know, is he going early, I assume? I, Kenny, I it's Kendrick's know. London they're calling twice. I don't have a clue. So now I we're really kicking don't. it from the 30. Well, they do it six times. We'll be kicking from our goal line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Adrian's got a leg. Kick it to the official. Kick it to the official. Kick it to Valley Drive. Dalton now back to their own 30. But Dalton obviously feels like their best chance is to get this onside kick. But you give them a, a, a field of, from the 50 or 45, 50 yard line. Uh, are now they're calling timeout. Oh, I was, I was waiting for the flag to go up. Timeout called by Cedar Oh, Cedartown called it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think they. Folks, we'll be back to Harmon Field. Every day brings new challenges. GigLink is helping our community keep pace in this brave new world. New ways to efficiently communicate. New and innovative ways of approaching manufacturing. New ways to explore our dreams and goals. GigLink's lightning fast service provides downloads and uploads up to 10 times faster than traditional internet speeds. Perfect for today's data intensive environment. Giving us all a chance to succeed. Connect with GigLink today. All righty, here we go. 35 to 27. 523 left to go in the ball game. Dalton attempting their third kickoff. You'll notice Dalton is kicking from their 30 instead of the 40. We've had two false starts on the kickoffs. Back to back. We're attempting, we were attempting an onside kick. I believe everybody north of the equator 
is going to realize what we're trying to do now, so there will be no secret on this. And that's effective because those things confuse everybody. Well, it don't help when they catch. Oh, good, oh dear Lord. Good job, Cameron. Oh, dear. Good oh. job, Cameron. Oh. He took a late knee, and Cameron was ready to, to do something, but he pulled up right at the end. Great job right there not getting that 15-yard penalty. I could see the flag going up as sure as the world. First and 10, Cedartown from their own 30-yard line. Again, Cedartown leads by eight points. They lead by the maximum of as much as one score can be, eight points. Well, Cedartown, we know what they want to do. Yeah. Control clock. the clock. Yep. Control the clock. But if you can get a three and out, that's oh. gonna, you're going to get the ball back Jeez. with about three minutes and 30 seconds. This game gets three so minutes. interesting if you get a three and out. you got to win first down. You've got to win first down. I wish we could somehow play with 14 guys as big as that offensive line is. Jules Davis, I got his name memorized. Yeah, we didn't That's what you down. cannot do right there. You we, cannot do that. We've got to get in that backfield and get him down. We, Jules Davis, yep, I was right. All right. You need he a, gained seven. Now we needed some sort of mistake. I mean, they're going to be able to be – they're going to ground and pound. And mm -hmm. those body blows, again, are very tough. And those defensive linemen are tired. You might as well call that eight. He got eight, second and two. Yeah, he did get eight. So – Jeez, that's about eight more than we needed him to get. And you're going to kill I mean, clock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, you see why they were going for the onside sure, kick. Sure, sure. Absolutely. You got to because they knew what was going to happen here. We've had trouble stopping them. There goes Jules Davis again. And there's, well, so nope, far he's probably short. That'll be third down and, what, six inches? Yep. No, third and about a foot. Third and about a foot. This is where you've got to like, – this is gut check. You've got to have this. 4-13, 4, 4 12 to go in the ball game. Big Red with her back against the wall. Bobbled snap. Earth, Drop ball. Earthquake. Anything. Earth, anything that will help you make this stop, it's incredible. But you've got to have it. It's, this is, right. This is not the game, but it's close. Like – Ball's on the 39. Oh, we, we got, got a, a full timeout. timeout on, well, Cedartown. 3.49 left to go in the ball game. Cedartown calls timeout. And we'll be back to Harmon Field. Hey, Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No, son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know. We can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Every community has its challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. Right back with you here at Harmon Field. Dalton in Cedartown in a 35 to 27 game. Cedartown with a 35. Cedartown with about third down and a foot to go with their own 39 yard line. It is Impossible to emphasize how important it is for Dalton to get a stop here. Oh. And forget that. Oh, careful, Peyton. Got the first down. All righty. That's going to move the chains, and that's going to take more time off that clock. Well, Dalton's got a, a timeout left, which uh -huh. you're going to use some sequence here. I would imagine either second down or third down. You needed that, that third down stop. You needed it. We just can't get it. We they're just so third and one, so big, and it's fourth quarter. I know our guys have got to be wore down. They're just uh, they've just controlled the line of scrimmage. We've had our opportunities, but they have controlled the line of scrimmage. We have got a flag. Maybe this will back them up five. Yep, that helps. That's gonna make it first and fifteen. Three fifteen left to go.
I've never stared at a clock as long as much as I have since uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm on a treadmill. I'm ready to get the 315 <laughs> to go so I can go home. Why is the clock starting? Well, they're just playing smart football. If you're on the short end, it hurts to see it because there ain't squat you can do about it. Yep. First and 15, Cedar Town on their own 39. Jules Davis with the ball. Jules Davis gains some. Two yards. All right, I think we want to keep the clock running because it's a running play. Yep. Now we go next play. If you get them, well, I think you get them on third down where they're you, punting on fourth. You know, if you want to look for a silver lining in a game that might as well have been played on Friday the 13th, uh, Dalton, if they were to lose this okay. game, with everything that's went wrong against them, to only be down by eight points is a miracle in itself. That just tells you how tough and resilient Dalton is, even when nothing else is going their way. Yeah, I mean, we've we've shot ourselves in the foot so many times tonight. I don't know what else you I can mean, do you yourself had we hadn't done. Two turnovers on the one-yard line. Yeah. Two. Yeah. You yeah. had a kick out of bounds. I mean, that right there looms so large at the end of the half where they get that touchdown. Against a good football team. You had a punt where they had – and we played as if we're – We've, we're defeated, and you're yeah. only down eight. Yeah. So, I mean, even – it's – we've just got to believe. We've got to believe that we can do it. There has been a ginormous amount of crouch tonight, I've noticed. Yeah, I wonder, does the clock start or does it stay stopped on an injured player? Because in my opinion, like, why don't you just go down every time? <laughs> I just go down every play. The clock continues to run, but I don't know that. Because I would have thought on the penalty it stopped, but I guess not. Second down and 12 for Cedar Town from their own 42. Yep, they're running the clock. 227 left to go in your ball game. Again, go down to the 10, stop the, take a knee, or, you know, get hurt. That right there has gave us. All right, we got another one. It's third down. Watch, you wait and see. I bet they're gonna go down somebody around the two ten or two or two uh, or one fifty mark. Third and nine. All right, Ball's gonna, on the forty five. You're gonna call a timeout after this stop. Cedar Town might call a timeout. Nope. They're doing a fantastic job of taking time off the clock. Yeah, really good clock management. It really Cedar is. Town. It really is. you got to tip your hat to them on that. They have uh, done a fantastic job on taking time off. Dalton, it goes beyond saying how bad we need to stop right here. Oh. Praise the Lord. And you get to keep the timeout. Praise the Lord. The clock stops. Intended receiver was number five, Isaiah Johnson. Fourth down. Uh, we got Adriel down. Adriel's up, moving around, so I mean, it's fourth down. Dalton's got life. A minute and 32 with a timeout left. We're not out of this, I'm telling you. No. We are not out of it. I agree. We're acting like we're out of it, but I can just see the silver lining. Bubba might even take it back one right here. He's well, an explosive player. I'll tell you one thing. I give him all the permission in the world if he's needing it. I mean, like I, we talked I, about. I'm, I'm going to sell for a high snout, block punt. It don't have to be Bubba going all the way. We'll take yeah, it right there. Just don't run in the kicker. How many guys <laughs> don't give one, them any. two, three, four, five, six, seven? We've only got ten guys on the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got ten guys on the field. Now we have eleven. <laughs> and we got. Th a flag. That's what the flag's on. Yep. That's what the flag's on. But it shouldn't be because it doesn't matter. Well, we're moving, so. But we're, it doesn't matter about us. I guess it doesn't. Maybe it does. I guess, but we're not offsides. Is that what they're calling the illegal participation? But I don't know. We're not offsides. It'd be a five-yard penalty, I assume, so it doesn't mean it's a first down. Yeah, no flag. Because it's against us. Right. All right, Bubba's down on the ground out here that we were kind of not paying. Adriel's limping. Like, it has been a hard This has been a physical game. game. We do not need Bubba Tanner hurt. There we go. Get up, Bubba. We do not need this child hurt. There we go. Walking off. All right, perfect. We have got a big game next week against Hiram. This, we've got to make sure we have all of our weapons. This is getting into that time of 
the season with your schedule where these bumps and hits and collisions and bruises and everything kind of starts taking and I was looking at our, toll on your at our schedule we have not got a good draw when it comes to our bye weeks you had bye week week two doesn't do you good and you have the last bye week so you play every game and then the last week of the season you're by you're closing the season with Calhoun and Cartersville. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I mean, really? If you make it to the playoffs, not a bad deal because you mm. get a week off. Yeah. But if, you, if you're if you beat up trying to go and you've got to win one against Calhoun, that's not good. So here we are. Dalton's got a chance. That's all you can ask for. First and 10, Dalton from their own 24-yard line. is Strucker Woods and Riley Souther are doing everything they can to get the crowd pumped up. It's worked. Now the coaches are telling everybody to be quiet. So they can communicate. All right, let's see what the officials are saying. 123 left to go. They're trying to say that Bubba couldn't participate, maybe. Ethan with the ball. Ethan's going to throw one out here to Bubba Tanner. Bubba catches gotta it. Got to go, got to go, got to go. But not gotta much go. of a game. Got to go, Bubba. 113, 112. You need to run ball that game. ball to the middle of the field, Bubba. We right, need, fellas. We need first downs and out of bounds. Ten That's yards out need. of bounds. Ten yards out of bounds. Ethan going to roll out. Ethan's going to throw it out here to RJ. Get out of bounds. Out Beautiful. of baby. Out of baby. All right. RJ's out around his uh, 38, 7, 57 seconds left to go at Harmon Field. All right, you need first downs or out of bounds. You got one timeout to play with. 36 yard line. 57 seconds. Hiram scored with about when the, with 51 seconds last into the half, so Dalton's gonna have to answer. I'm glad that clock ain't moving. Well, that's why out of bounds is important. You got that right. Plus it lets you set a play, but we only got 10 seconds, so we need to hurry. Get there, Kenny. There we go. You gotta have some urgency about you. You do. Ethan with the ball. In the pocket. Oh, wow. Ethan's open. going to throw one ahead to Bubba oh, Tanner. Just overthrew oh. him a little bit. Too many scoops and he's raising Brand. Yeah, he was there too. Bubba was there. Four is pointing to the scoreboard to Striker Woods. Of course, there won't be no flag on Toning there. We won't call that. All right. The four could have easily picked up a penalty there for Toning. Hey, the beautiful thing is, is Dalton, I mean, they're giving us the play downfield if they want, if we want it. So we just got to make the play. Ethan just was a little too strong on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, Ethan, rolling out. I want to throw one out here Cameron. again. You got Cameron State. Oh, yes, yes, sir. yes. Atta yes, baby. Sir. Woo. Atta baby. Good call because he's not looking at the plot. Could have been arrested for that. Cameron's we making got a, a flag play. back here, too. Was that roughing? Well, not. I didn't see. Let's see what it is. I don't know. We got two flags. We'll call it illegal shift. Probably, I'm sure it'll be something offsetting, I'm sure. Yep, I think it is. We get a pass interference, probably something. Yep. I got holding. Yep. I'm surprised. Yeah, pass interference, offsetting. <laughs> Except you lose the clock. Yep. Wow. All right, here we go. You can at least get over a little bit. We need a big play. But we could also take the outs. If they Four. give them to us, take the outs and out of bounds. 45 seconds, second and 10. Got number four, Nash Smith. In as a wide out. Ethan rolling out. Ethan's coming in with a little bit of pressure. Ethan's got good time. Kendrick's, oh! That's a great play by eight. Yeah, Kendrick would love to have that one back because that Gr was right there. Great play by eight, and eight is Demarcus Gardner. Called his name multiple times. Yeah. 38 mm. seconds left to go. Got to have those. You got to get some, you got to eat up some, some turf quick now. Dalton's got a chance. Third and 10. You're not out of it. Sorry. Oh, that's the book I kicked. I thought I kicked your foot. Third and 10. Adriel in the backfield beside Ethan. Ethan's rolling out to his right. Ethan's going to throw it out here to RJ. Pass was too high, incomplete. That's going to bring up a fourth down and 10 as we're not connecting with our receivers. We need Ethan to be accurate on this throw. 
Fourth and 10. Understatement of the year. The ball game's on the line right here. All right, here we go. This is it. Game right here. We've got 16 seconds. Plenty of time on the clock. Make a play call. We got Kendricks London and RJ Story at the top. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. We got a timeout. Officials, uh, we're talking to uh, some. I think they're going to talk about their band. Oh, get okay. That's my Ooh, we got opinion. three seconds on that uh, play clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good pickup, Curtis. Because they were trying to Talking distract. to the Cedartown band. Yep, that's a distraction. I don't guess you can do that. <laughs> All right, should be a reset on the play clock for 25 seconds. So that actually helped us because we were getting low on time. Ethan, Ethan's going to uh -oh. throw it up here. That's Game it. Over. That's going to be a fourth down. That's going to be a fourth down. Yep. And that is going to be your ball game as Cedartown will take over at the Dalton. Uh, let's see what yard line they're on. Looks like it was a 40. Don't think it matters because I'm sure they're just going to come out and take a knee. 41. Yeah, it don't matter. 35 to 27. Looks like it will be your final score. Now, this is where we've got to be, keep our composure. Again, this game doesn't matter. It's a pride game. You want to win, and we played. We fought really hard. Well, Too many, too many only, mistakes. You can only win so many things, and yep. you can only have so many things go against you. Too many mistakes, and uh, we go back. We do a little gut check, but we've got Hiram next week, and we've got to remember that. Cedar Town will now tie the series at 17, 17, and four, as Dalton had a one game lead coming into this. So that will now be even, and Cedar Town will take a knee. And yep, that is. Victory formation. Boy, it's been a crazy night. It has been a crazy night. Looney. And there will be your knee. There we go. This will end much different than the Tennessee Florida game ended. Let's hope. Yeah. That should be it right there. Yeah, that, yeah, that should be. Dalton will fall to four and one as Cedartown has come into Harmon Field. And Cedartown will come away with a 35 to 27 win. Very physical football game. Uh, on behalf of Brandon Brown Productions and Curtis Carson, my name is Ladarian Edgman. This was our final non-region game of the year. Our Catamounts will begin region play next week as the Hiram Hornets come to Harmon Field. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night, everybody.